Gracious Bears. The MC Type. The robots are coming. of the robots which doesn't make sense because they're making the robots the only difference is our bones have meat does a creator making us make us more complete a core depletes the way your battery dies i've been running autopilot more than half of my life man or machine when we're planning regimes computer programs planting codes in our dreams it's known through a screen this world that we see just walk around the city and it's all that you see people looking like me staring into rectangles binary numbers from their heads to their ankles One Zero zero one one zero zero. Humans made us God and made him a hero. Isn't it similar to invent our visions? Intended to repeat the process until we're singular. Uh. Until we're singular. With our fingertips, Mecca, megalomaniacal machinists on a mission to be messing with mankind in extremists. We should have seen this coming, we could have predicted it. But we took caught up in appearances to give a shit about what the media has given us. Self-conscious shitheads, stranded syphilis for insta hits. Them cookie monsters loving all of this, they devils. Spark a match, sit back and watch the figures treble. They love to watch us struggle. They play in God to our perceptions when we build them up so high and then we watch them crumble. Need deep in rubble and skull and bones, secret handshakes and third Devices and taps on our phones. Taps on our phones. powers. That bear became 
Super Jam. Hey, what the fuck's going on with this? Good. That's not good either. You're in a fucking weird position, you today. You know what? I'm fucking I was fucking about with it earlier, trying to get a good position for the 24-hour stream, which is coming on Wednesday. I wasn't planning on streaming today, but the wife's on TikTok again, so that's good, isn't it? Let's have that back. Not that one. That one. And cover up that eye. Um, what the fuck am I doing? Should be getting the game ready, really, let's be honest. But instead, I'm loading up trucking jams ready for uh, ready for the 24-hour stream, because that's what I've been working on. Uh, that's fucking weird, man. Needs a bit more height, and then an angle, and then maybe it won't look as fucking dumb. Better? Kinda? What? Oh, yeah, no, I wish I'd not fucking touched this now. I've fucked it, haven't I? Fucking fucked it. That's not bad. That's not bad. No one's here anyway. No one cares. Anyway, so I found this game. I was just um trying to find a synopsis on YouTube for Monkey Island 1 and 2. So I could show Krusty. So you wouldn't be completely lost when we do Curse of Monkey Island on the 24-hour stream. I uh, couldn't find one, found some other videos, and came across someone that I've come across a few times, uh, a lady by the name of Pushing Up Roses, and she covers a lot of uh, old adventure games and shit. And I watched a few of her videos throughout the day, and this game popped up a few times, and I thought, eh, why not, let's play a game from 92, we've just done that, let's do it again. But this is like OG graphics, so it looks like shit. I'm sure it'll play okay. It's got a talky soundtrack. That's what's important. I checked that out because honestly, I wasn't going to do it if it didn't. <laughs> but. That light's fucked. <sighs> uh. Beer tried to go in a place it shouldn't go. Anyway, before we get going, let's uh, do the obligatory quick look at this. Which you can barely see because of this special frame I've got going on. Good. Didn't think that one through, did you, Jay? We can do this. Boom. You can't see me, but... That's it now. Locked in. Final. Done. Good stuff. My face. Uh, should we load this game up and see just what the fuck it's about? I feel like we should do that. We should probably go to the game folder, really. My stomach is making some funny noises because I've barely eaten today, like a tit. There it is. There's the icon I want. Fuck me. It's cool. Don't worry about it. So, I believe this is a sequel. But, I've never played any of this shit before, so... Introduction? Sounds good. It's a Sierra Online game, so it's one of the classics. Hi, James. Is something going to happen? Okay. Oh, 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 okay. No, it's not the Titanic. You know what, James? There's a lot of people getting murdered in this game. I'm not sure you should watch me stream tonight. I think you should watch something else. <sighs> I 
Now, as I was saying, I know nothing about this game. I just encountered it today. So, we'll see what it has to offer. What's her fucking name? Laura Bow, was it? There is still time to correct this most grievous misunderstanding, Mr. Carter. The dagger of Amman Ra must be returned to Egypt. Stay out of my way, or I'll thrash you within an inch of your life. Good lord. Surely you can find a way to accommodate everybody's wishes. Who are you to tell me what I can do with my own property? Your property? What authority did you have? Slippy the accent there. authority of the Egyptian Antiquities Service. So if you don't like it, I suggest you waddle on back to Egypt and complain to your own government. Good God. Would it not be better to work this out diplomatically? This isn't a case for diplomacy. It's a case for your acceptance of the situation. It is not just my acceptance at issue, Mr. Carter. Frankly, some of our people are quite upset. Move to take drastic measures if need be. Are you threatening me, you malodorous little man? Malodorous, what a word. Mr. Carter, there are some who would rather fight back than allow their country to be stripped of its national treasures. Any fat savage who lays a finger on my exhibit or threatens me will find himself in deep trouble. This is a, Do I a bit troubling, this dialogue, isn't it? Clear. As clear as the water of the oasis, Mr. Carter. Be careful with that steamer trunk, young man. It's exceedingly valuable. So, lots of Brits in there. Sure is heavy, Mr. Carrington. You got gold bars in here or something? Bass in that guy's the voice, yo. My trunk are not your concern. Now be a good lad and take it to my taxi. The Countess is waiting. My taxi, lad. Bit of a jam, this. New Orleans. One oh, week later. it ended. Are you sure you've got everything? <sighs> yes, Daddy. You've got Sam's My boy Benny's streaming table. again. He's on Diablo yes, 3. Daddy. You've got the I gave you? Yes, Daddy. Don't worry. Put I think that's us. Shoe. New York's a big city, and there's a lot of I was going to say something then, and then I remembered that the only person in my audience is my seven-year-old son, so I probably better not. Possibly go wrong. Let me give you a little more money, just in case. Yeah, give me, give me all the money. Got to go. Godspeed, Laura. Call me as soon as you get there. I'll be fine, Dad. I'm going to make you proud of me. I already am, honey. Pretty chill, this one, isn't it? Good times, Jam. Good God, yes, all right, James. Excuse me, dear, are you a secretary? Actually, I'm starting a new job as a reporter for the New York Daily Register News Tribune. My name's Laura Bow. How nice. I'm Ermgard. Is this your first trip to the big city? Am I that obvious? How could you tell? By the way you keep glancing out the window, dear. 
I did the same thing. Should listen, shouldn't I? I came to New York. Is this my cursor? No, that's. The tall building, I saw the bug thing, but it's actually sounds of the dialogue. It was all so exciting. Then I stepped off the train and got mud. Need to get some WD-40 up in this oh, chair, yo. Awful. It's the New York experience. I'm the the one with the red hair, and. Uh, you're doing one wrong. You're doing one Thank as in, you, I won a prize. The one you want is O-N-E. Do you one. need any help o getting home? N -E. No, dear. I'll be fine. Thank you. You're sure you'll be okay? Yeah, sure. Why not? I could be rolling yes, so many fags while this is just Goodbye. cracking on. Goodness gracious. Case. Can you spare a dime, miss? Nah. Is this a game or is this just some dodgy I'm animation? I'm ready to help those who are less fortunate. Well, that's just peachy. Give me all your money then. Ugh. Excuse me? Am I getting robbed? I'm getting robbed. This seems very unfair. Welcome to New York, kid. Bloody Southern Belle. It's clueless. Meanwhile, in another cutscene. I'm not gonna let a little bad luck ruin my day. Hello, New York. Laura Bow has arrived. Laura Bow, yay. Can someone remaster this just so I can play it looking pretty? Still making the oh Jesus! What am I dead? Why are you giving me wings? Destiny awaits. Nothing can stop me now. Get out. I really want to thank you for hiring me, Mr. Augustini. For hiring you? I don't even know who you are. <laughs> I'm Laura Bow. I believe you know my father, John Bow. Ah, John. And my Bow's uncle, John. Ran Bow. How is he? He's fine, and he says hello. He oh, wanted yeah. to know if you still had that newspaper clipping on your wall about the explosion of the Hindenburg building in Yarlins. Yes, your father was the first cop on the scene of the explosion, and he let me into the wreckage so I could cover it for the paper. I rescued Rupert Hindenburg from his burning office, wrote about it, and made a name for myself as a reporter. I owe John a lot for that. Think you can handle being a reporter for a big city paper? Nah. I'll do my best, sir. We usually just hire men for this job. It's rough out there. Of course you do. You're kind of small. Ha! <laughs> I can do it, Mr. Augustini. Just give me oh, a Oh, I'm chance. an angel, safe. All right, as a favor to my old pal, John. But I'll be keeping a close eye Not on... Not you, E. Thank you, sir. For your first assignment, Spelling. I want you to write about a burglary. Some kind of uh, fancy knife was stolen from the Lion Decker Museum. I'll arrange for you to attend the fundraiser at 7 That'll be the dagger of uh, Eamon Ra, then. Exhibit. Everyone will be there. Oh, everyone. Tell them you're covering the society news so they won't clam up on you. You won't regret it, sir. I have a nose for news. Just keep your nose out of trouble. Here's your official notebook and your pencil. It already has Crodballer's <laughs> notes in it. <laughs> official notebook and pencil. Tomorrow, okay. That was me thinking I was playing the game. I think I'm about to be, though. A nose for news. Laura Baines, right? Laura Bow, sir. And I believe you have the advantage. Crodfaller Rhubarb, ma'am. Though you can call me Rube. So I suppose you've already met Sam. Your last name is Rhubarb. Yes, sure. he's very colorful. Is he? Don't let him shake you. He's tough on the outside, but inside, he's got a heart of stone. I'm sure he... 
Pardon me? What did you say? Never mind. Just pulling your leg. Why don't you take this desk right here and we'll get you settled in. That's very kind of you. Mr. Augustini sort of left me on my own. I have to start on this story about a burglary at the Lion Decker Museum. <coughs> oh, are we, are we playing the game now? Is that a thing? Lucky us. So let me put these bevs back in the fridge. <sighs> My dad went out and got me fucking 16 cans earlier. Very kind, very kind. Cheers. Okay, what am I doing? Nothing says anything. Look. This is now your desk. Great, so it's we can't see what anything like is. It hasn't been cleaned thoroughly in years, but it's sturdy and serviceable. Sturdy and serviceable. My favourite. This is the top drawer of your desk. The desk drawer is locked. Well, that's no flipping use, is it? Silence alone is great. All else is weakness. Shut up. Well-timed silence hath more... Th what is this... Rubbish? You already have plenty of pencils. I don't want pencils. I want a bloody key, don't I? <laughs> What's in my bag? This. Oh, I'm, I'm going to have a terrible time playing this, aren't I? Uh, let's go to the gents. I'm sure that's probably fine. You can't go in there. That's the men's lounge. The men's lounge. You glance around curiously, but there's no sign of a ladies' lounge. This is patently unfair. Uh, yes it is. You can feel the tension in the city newsroom of the... Oh, good lord, be quiet. A N G E L, not U L. Uh, you know what? There's too many. Uh, get a taxi. That's that's working. <laughs> These fucking sound effects. I'm sorry, madam. I can only transport you if you have money. Or if you're a member of the press. But I am a member of the press. What rules are these? Uh, I have a notebook. While this is an interesting approach, it serves no practical purpose. Well, please don't touch me, madam. I don't know where you've been. In the news office, guy. I'm terribly sorry. You clearly don't have what you need for a ride in this vehicle, madam. Good day. Okay. I, d I don't get this. Questions are a burden. Oh, jeez. What, what even are these things that I'm doing? Hands to yourself, please. Is this action? I hope I'm not intruding. I mean, if you were working on the burglary story. Miss Bo, please, it is not a problem. Yes, I'd started work on the story, but it's not your fault that it's been reassigned. That's just something I'll have to take up with Sam. Thank you, Mr. Crod. I mean, Rube. Is that TikTok or complaining? I'm not sure. 
Right, let's have a look at this. Look at that. N no. Right, maybe if we go in here. Look at it's that. It's your official New York Daily Register News Tribune Reporter's Notebook with index tabs for people, places, and things. I should have checked this out on how long to beat. Ah. Look, who the... F who are these? Who's low fat? I want to go there, plus. That I have my notebook. Miscellaneous. The year 1926. Burglary... Burglary. I don't get it. I don't. I don't understand. You can click on things, but nothing happens. <sighs> Is there something at my desk? Where's this icon? What does this icon this mean? This now your desk. It's very old and looks like it hasn't been cleaned thoroughly in years, but it's sturdy and serviceable. Yeah, but I need a the desk key. Drawer is locked. You already. Complaining. What? How does I really need someone to pop in the stream that has the faintest the clue? Shut up. Go over there. Yes, dirty. This game is weird, bro. I can't work out what anything means. It's a waste paper basket conveniently situated next to the desk. No, you would not have it because I this is now your desk. It's very old and looks like it hasn't been cleaned thoroughly in years, but it's sturdy and serviceable. This is the top drawer. It looks like an o It looks like It's the first pencil holder you've ever had as an official member of the fourth estate. This is now your Oh god. It's killing me off this. Although your vision is excellent, it is not superhuman. Therefore, you'll have to walk over to the bulletin board to read the notices. I mean, I kind of thought you'd be clever enough to stand up first, but sure. Uh, no, the child. One notice reads, When covering formal events such as embassy parties, please dress appropriately. We've had complaints about reporters who refuse to dress properly at social events. Whatever. We talked to this dude. I'm so excited to be a member of the Trib staff. After all, I studied journalism in college. I went to two What lines about Twitch code? I never thought that my first job out of school I don't know what the Twitch code is. Paper as prestigious as this one. I mean, that is unusual, isn't it? I'm sorry. Were you talking to me? Never mind. I'll be back. Something is a mix upstairs.
there are, oh, that's wrong, isn't it? Look at the state of that. That's better. There are just problems all over this house, it turns out. Not a problem. Maybe. Okay. Aren't you Eddie Bedletter, the syndicated columnist? I'm a great fan of yours, and I've read... Yeah, yeah. I'm busy right now. I'm looking for the women's lounge. Hey, good luck, kiddo. We've never had one. No ladies ever worked at this paper. I'm looking for the... Hey, good... I'm looking... Hey... What... do I do? This is literally the start of the game and I'm completely lost. I don't know how it works. I've never played a game like this before. Won this. Old and obtuse. Right, let's have a quick look at my face. I've got the manual. Let's just read the manual. Which is just pages and pages of nonsense. It's... It's not a manual for the game, though. It's just, it's talking about the museum, or a museum, and stuff that's in it. Doesn't tell me anything about the flipping game. Luckily, we have a hint book as well. We sort by type. That'd be really bloody useful. Right. This is just, it's just scans. Good bloody good old games. Oh god, where's the actual game? It's just full of rubbish, this. These are all photographs. I'm sorry, hang on, look at this. Is, oh, stupid bloody frame. Are they trying to tell me? That uh, this sword is going through this man. Because it's clearly behind him. Look. You can just about see that. that is, this is ridiculous. Uh, what? Why is there a crossword? There's, there's literally a crossword. This isn't a hint book. This is a cross. What is happening? <laughs> Game hints. How do you, I look at things, talk to people, etc.? That's not a hint. That's what the manual should be. So the talk one is the exclamation point. Look at something, use the eye cursor. How do I use my notebook? It's the question mark from here I can buy and click it on the person you wish to interrogate. This is going to be a difficult game. The game's divided into six acts, though, so that's something. Each act is broken down in several trigger events. All events occur within a single 24-hour period. As you perform each event, a clock will strike to show the passage of time. Right, whatever. Nothing is well, Nittle. Nothing is well. I've opened this hint book. From good old games for this game, right? Which is just scanned in. And it's one of those things where they, they use... Look. I'm in the newsroom at my desk. How do I open the drawer? Look how angled it is because it's just a manual that's been thrown in a fucking scanner as well. But look, all the answers are hidden behind this red shit. 
I need a red lens so I can see it. <laughs> you know what? It's fine. We've never used a himbo before because we have the internet. Let's cheat. <sighs> Kill me. What the fuck is this called? Okay, how do I do that? Right, well, it's, it's given me a start, so that's good. Let's, let's do something. Get back behind your desk, you bint. This is now your desk. You only find some lint under the desk blotter. You peel up a corner of the blotter to reveal a small key. You peel... Shut up and take Pick it. it up and place it. Why would you place it in your purse? For real, though. You unlock the drawer. Unfortunately, the key permanently jams itself in the lock. Let's hope you never want to lock this drawer again. I can't see a situation where I will do. A What's this? There we go. Press your pants while Something you wait. Something just fucking attacked me there, I'm sure. Chinese Laundry, 5858 Broadway Avenue, New York. You pick it up and place it in your purse. Lovely. I like placing things inside my purse. Right, let's bounce. Let's bounce. I should be able to get in that fucking taxi now. The sound of the cars is just so good. Absolute japes, friend. Absolute japes. Greetings, madam. I can motivate you to your destination if you can prove that you're a reporter or if you have American currency. Uh, I'm a reporter, bruh. To what location would you like to be motivated, madam? To be motivated? What? Uh, I have no idea what was I doing. I was going to the museum, right? Was it the museum? I don't know. Let's let's say it is. The museum, plus. Have you read that new book by Carl Sandburg? It's Abraham Lincoln, The Prairie Years. Actually, it's the first two volumes of a six-volume biography, and I find it quite stimulating reading. Thanks for traveling with us, madam. Have a pleasant day. I refuse to believe you got anywhere in New York that fast. Also, tab out to my face. Because I've just noticed some fuckery. There's a weird line going on in my frame and I don't like it. It needs to piss off. What's that weird fizzy noise? Oh, shit. Not that one. Oh, oh shit. No, I fucked everything. Have I? Have I? Am, am I good? Fix it. That looks fixed. Save as a PNG. And that should automatically replace the frame back in the game. Here we go. Watch that line. Gone. Also, put the screen onto the right resolution. Okay. We are not winning. Because whenever we... we, we well... We can't highlight things and see if they exist. Don't so. touch it. You don't know where it's been. Why don't you just walk to it then? Fundraiser tonight. Formal attire required. Sure. This is formal attire, this right? This door is locked. Brilliant. What the fuck am I doing? I 
think I'm here too early, aren't I? Which is which is probably why the walkthrough didn't say to uh, come here. You know what, with a walkthrough, we should be able to blitz this game, though. So, if we just admit that we're cheating from, from you know, the start, we should be fine. Greetings, madam. I can motivate you to your destination if you can prove that you're a reporter or if you have American currency. I wish you'd stop saying motivate you. Am I going to have to do this every fucking to time? what location would you like to be motivated, man? Take me back to the pissing newspaper, you absolute gobshite. Uh, that? Is that the... That must be the paper, mustn't it? Thanks for travelling with us, madam. Have a pleasant day. What a zany tune. Right, we need to get our asses back inside this. What's the fun dump to? Unless, uh... Unless someone's done a donate. I don't think they have. I've not seen anything. Oh, wait, no. Okay, so apparently I'm meant to go rooting through the bin. You straighten out your dress. Appearances count. All right, Carl. You can feel the ten. Oh my God! This fucking game. Get in the bin, literally. Good you girl. find a curiously heavy object in the trash. You pick it up and place it in your purse. Full disclosure, we are cheating our way through this game because I do not understand a game of such age. I hate the fact that when I'm hovering over things, nothing comes up to say this is a thing. I mean, pixel hunting in general is a pain in the ass, but pixel hunting when you can't see specifically that there's something there? Fuck off. Where's me walk through? Talk to Rube. Who's Rube? Is this Rube? I hope I'm not intruding. I mean, if you were working... Miss we did this already. Like I want to talk to someone about a flower shop or some shit. I'm so excited. Shut After up. all, I studied journalism in speak. college. I went to Tulane and never thought that my first job out of school would be at a paper as prestigious as this one. I mean, that is unusual, isn't it? I'm sorry, were you talking to me? <sighs> never mind. Fucking 1920s blood. Right, let's uh, get out of here. Fuck the conversation about a flower shop. Maybe I've already had it, I wasn't paying attention. I do need to cross the street. And then apparently I need to push over a tramp or something. <laughs> You're joking! Old school games with permadeath! I don't have any saves! No! No, not the nightmare again! Oh my god, we've been streaming for 45 minutes. Don't worry, in those 45 minutes, we achieved nothing. Fuck you, Sierra. So, save every five seconds then, yeah? Let's not watch the introduction again, because that took forever. Skip on. Ironically, made that take longer. Laura Bain. Laura Bose. 
crowd follower. Yes, he's very. Don't let him shake you. I'm sure. Never mind. That's very. Blah. First of all, get in the bin. You find a. You pick. You stra Stop straightening this your dress. <sighs> Immediately you pick, pick you up pick this key. Use the key on the you desk. Want... God damn it. God damn it, woman! This is. N you pick it up. There we go. Don't touch it. You don't. Cool. Um, right, so we are exactly as far through as we were before. Which is, frankly, astounding, isn't it? Where's Rube? How do I talk to Rube about fucking flowers, bruh? What the fuck? Cully's watching the Pink Panther collection. Why are you doing that, you turbo nonce? Right. Get the key. Open the drip desk. Get the pass. Go through the trash. Get the baseball. Talk to Rube about flower shop burglary. Where is Rube? Are you Rube? I don't think you are. Hello. Please, don't touch me, Miss Bow. My bad. I meant to I do that I'm one. Not... Miss Bow, please, it is not a problem. Thank you, Miss... Crod. Crod is not Bow. Investigate. I'm interrogating the man. Talk to him about the flower shop. Now what's the scoop on the flower shop? You mean the speakeasy? The flower shop's just a cover. Look for a fella there named of Ziggy. He knows a lot and Ziggy. doesn't to talk too much. Cool. Okay. So this, I assume this must be Rube then. Um, talk to him about... Uh, yeah, the, 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 the burglary. We are learning. Were you able to get any leads at all about the burglary at the museum? No, hadn't been working on the story very long. I went to see Detective O'Reilly down at the police station, but he was pretty tight-lipped. I was planning on talking to Ziggy down at the speakeasy. He's a stoolie, usually good for a tidbit or two. Any other leads I can follow up on? With due this respect, dick. Man, it's going to be your byline on the story. Not terrible, mine. terrible jokes. Point taken, Mr. Crod for Rube. That is Rube. Right, okay, I don't know what I learned there and I don't much care. Let's save the fucking game. Detail. Yes, please. All of it. You can afford to move faster. Uh, save. Yes. We're doing it, Peter. What's this? What's dual mode? Uh, oh! Right, okay, I see. What's this? If you're enjoying Laura Bro, the Dagger of uh, Aim and Draw, you feel the need for more mystery in your life. Investigate the first game in the Laura Bro series, The Colonel's Bequest, by Roberta Williams. Learn all the facts about The Colonel's Bequest and other suspected suspect game titles. Roll your eyeballs through the catalogue found in your game box. <laughs> yeah, alright. Oh, fuck me dead. Oh, Jesus. No. What What have we done? Please. No. <laughs> Fucking brought the credits Questions up. Are a burden to Shut up. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. One of the bollocks is in this menu. What's this? More, more about other items in this window. First click. I don't care. I, I genuinely don't care. I think I meant to look at the notice board now, so that's good news. Uh, yep, that I one there. Go one and look at that. One notice reads, when covering formal events such as embassy parties, please dress appropriately. We've had complaints about reporters who refuse to dress properly at social events. Right, okay. So we got murked before because we didn't look both ways. That's actually a fucking game mechanic. Let's get murked by the car again, just because it's hilarious. Alright, come over here. And save. 
Let's overwrite yes. And get killed. Because... <laughs> fucking brilliant. Oh, did she really? Or he really? I don't know. Right, how do we look both ways? A woody perennial plant. See, she's just... A woody perennial... Crossing the street here will lead you to the police station. I, uh, does that mean it's she's looked both ways? No! <laughs> what is this game? What is this game? Oh, fuck me, Dad. There are no cars coming from this direction. Good. There are no cars coming... The corner of seven... Crossing the street here. There are no cars coming from this direction. She's not looking both ways. I don't trust this whatsoever, but off we go. You see? You see? There are no cars. What about over here? There are no cars coming from this direction. Right. I think we're good. She did it. She's walked past the tree. Right, this hobo, we gotta go and punch him in the dick or something like that. That car sound. I'm I'm fully living for that car sound. Alright, go and punch this guy. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Don't bother me, lady. I'm sleeping. Kick him. Cully is on some shit right now, guy. Okay. Look both ways, cross the street. Use finger icon on the bum. Cross street and cross back. Get paper three times. What? Do I have to do I have to look? Let's save. I swear if I got a fucking cross. Don't touch it. Just walk. If I get run over again, man, I swear. No, we're good. Okay, let's go back again for reasons. <laughs> Absolutely fine. Right, my dude's gone. Whatever this is, let's have it. The paper is full of old news and a valuable coupon. Fuck yes, valuable coupon. My favourite. Feels like the police department exterior. The paper is full of old... Read bulletin... Wait, look both ways, cross street. Cross street and cross back. Get paper three times. What do you mean, get the paper three times? A coupon for a free sandwich from Luigi. Uh, oh. Right. You pick it up and place it in your purse. No. This game is fucking baffling, son. While this is an interesting approach... Don't. Just don't. Stop. Just... Oh, yes, it's still there, isn't it? It won't stop. Steam wants to sell me Reversion the Return. I don't even remember what that is, but apparently it's on my wish list. Just throw any old bollocks on there, don't you? <sighs> right. Cross the street... Use the coupon. We can do this. I have faith in our... What the fuck was that noise? Is he the sandwich man? The music's changed, so I assume he's the sandwich man. Oi. Give sandwich. I believe I would like a sandwich. 
Mamma mia. I believe I would like a sub. What are these phrases? What is this game? God! God! Take your sandwich and get out of here before I change my mind. Simmer down, Mario. I heard about this earlier. You can literally break the game. Well, yeah, yeah, break the game. If you eat this sandwich, that would get you nowhere. If you eat the sandwich, right? You pick it up and game over. Because you need the sandwich for a puzzle later, and there's no way of getting another one. Let's save. Where's save? I'm in my inventory. Where is? Where is? What have I? What have I done wrong? Where was save? I've forgotten everything already. Where was save? Save? Hello? Save? Save. Save the game. I think it's blanked out. I don't think I'm allowed to save. Not a problem. We'll worry about it in a bit. We'll save next time. Okay. Cross the street. Enter the police station. We can do that. Let's try not to get murked. We survived. We've got to talk to the desk sergeant and then give him the sandwich. Okay. We are doing it. We are doing it proper. Look at her legs go. I wish I didn't have to move to a different icon to make her enter a fucking door. You there, fucko. Pardon me. I'm looking for some information. Well, take yourself down to the library then. Pardon me, Sergeant, but I happen to be a reporter with What the accent trip. was that? And what oh, spelling of library was that? Then. Look, Lassie, I've been out with my dogs all day, and I haven't had my lunch. And i got a better things to do than to jaw with some slip of a girl reporter. Go on with you now. Go on with your bad self. That's what that said. Um, <clears throat> okay. Ah, see? It was missing. Sammy... Weech. There we go. It's all above board, we know Wagwan. You look so hungry. Here, take have, this. Have this butty I got foot free. Corn beef, eh? Don't mind if I do. D fresh too. D This guy. Oh fuck me dad. I bet I'm gonna end up streaming tomorrow as well. <laughs> then Wednesday will be my seventh stream. Every day of the week. 24 hours. Fuck it. Why not? <sighs> right. I'm giving very serious thought. So once we've done the 24. If I'm capable of just keeping going. And going for 36 hours. It's insane isn't it? But. <sighs> bro. Right. What do I do now? Do I talk to him again? Because that's my first thing to think of. Talk to cop. <clears throat> Ask about the speakeasy. I know I always feel a little better after I've had something to eat. There's no denying that, miss. Now, what was it you were wanting to ask me? I want to know, good sir, about the speakeasy. What can you tell me about the speakeasy? Now I don't know anything about a speakeasy, not in this town. We don't a clean city here. But there are some nice places where a lady like yourself can sit and relax. Can and enjoy sit. A bit of the high life, if you know what I'm saying. It's very much... Sure, I suppose it's giving the original talky know. bit as well as but having the, uh, the right CD line, version really soundtrack okay. or voice acting, so... But just mention it, Charles, it's giving the impression of the accent. Got that now? I think so. Thank you kindly, Sergeant. <sighs> don't mention it. And I mean it now. Don't you go mentioning it. Not to anyone. <laughs> what the fuck is this game, bro? 
Oh, what do we do next? Good news, we're nearly halfway through Act 1. Uh, right. Knock on back door in station. Read poll. Okay. That'd be that, and that'd be the poll. Right, this bitch can definitely move faster. There she goes. That's the game Not we're looking politely. for. You hear the muffled response. Come in. What am I... Bigora. I'm Detective O'Reilly. What would you be wanting then, lass? Just all the accents in this game. From the New York Daily Register News Tribune. I'm looking into the burglary at the Lyndecker Museum, and I understand you're handling the case. Would it be possible for me to look at your report? You can't be a reporter, Fuck off. You're a girl. The Trib only hires men. I am a reporter, sir. And you can check with my editor, Sam Augustini, if you don't believe me. I Progressive. Crowdfeather guy was going to be writing the robbery article. Crowdfather was assigned to it, but the story is mine now. Can I see that report, please? It's very technical, lass. I don't think you'll be learning much from it. Thank you for your concern, Detective, but I'd like to be the judge of that. You're a determined girl. I'll say that much for you. Have a look, then. This the is just fucking madness, isn't it? The burglary is nothing more than a single handwritten page. It mentions only one stolen object. The dagger of Amon Ra. And who's this narrator that is so very English? No fingerprints or other clues. Their method of access to the museum is unknown. Right, wearing gloves went In through the summary, door. The police are baffled about the burglary at the museum at this point. Well, I mean, I'm there. Some I'm, parts of the I'm report there. seem vague. The report is signed by Detective Ryan Hanrahan O'Reilly. Hanrahan O'Reilly. There's only one page to this report. Where's the rest of it? That's In the bin right with the rest of this game. It's rather vague, isn't it? Good police work takes time, and I'm a very busy man. I haven't had time to follow up on the burglary. I love the way that the accent so carries slipping back to its Native knife. American. There are people being murdered left and right in this city. Murdered. Like flies. Cars are being stolen. Bulls is being smuggled into speakeasies. The dude on the front said the word speakeasies. Are being mugged. Firebugs are burning down half the city. They're running out of grapes at the corner market. And I've got a headache. <laughs> Who the fuck you know, did they eye for this? Fucking brilliant. This me. So I don't need any nosy reporters hanging around telling me my reports are vague, girly. That girly. Well, excuse me. Walk off, you cunt. Talk to the desk sergeant if you have any more questions. I haven't got time for you right now. Wow. I've just realised I should have put the kids to bed like 20 minutes ago, so I'm going to go and make sure that that's a thing. BRB, y'all. Duck feet indeed! What? Welcome to this absolute fuckery, my friend. We were just up to the next point of cheating. We were looking at a bar, a, a pole thing or some shit, weren't we? 
Let's do that. Alright. Please remember, as of June 15th, 1924, all Indians are now full citizens of the USA. Please respect their rights and privileges. Thank you. Only now. Is that the only thing Wanted on this? By FBI. Oh, there's Al more things. Capone. Approach with caution. Contact FBI for details. Tickets to the policeman's ball now available. Nice. Contact officer friendly. Needed. Volunteer with aeronautic training. Opportunity for co-pilot on first transatlantic flight. Roosevelt Field to Paris. Next spring. Contact C. Lindbergh, Hamilton 6656. Was that that one? Needed. It was. Why wait? There's never been a better time to invest in the stock market. Civil servants qualify for what year is this? brokerage services at H.R. Schwab, Mary Hill 3173. Invest in the future of America today. This support column is also a handy place for posting notices and announcements. So it is. Let's be careful out there. This support column... Please remember, as of June... I think we've looked at everything this now. This support... Yes. Okay, right. Walk through. What next? Knock on back door and station. Read poll. Exit station. Get a cab. Uh... Go to the docks. The docks? We have the... The docks are a choice? You know what, bro? Go that way. It's quicker. Fucking yes, I love the speed of this. I love the fact that you can choose the speed of the animation. Greetings, madam. I can motivate you to your destination if you can prove that you're a reporter or if you have American currency. Right, no, yeah. Go on. Um. Where we didn't have this drama last night. Fuck me, Dad. Right, uh, press pass. To what location would you like to be motivated, madam? I'd like to be motivated towards the docks, please. Apparently, where where are the docks? There they are. That's a choice. See, it's legit. Have you read that new book by Carl Sandburg? It's Abraham Lincoln, The Prairie Years. Actually, it's the first two volumes of a six-volume biography, and I find it quite stimulating reading. Thanks for traveling with us, madam. Have a pleasant day. I hope you fucking die. Oh, here we are. Oh. Hello. Yes? Do I talk to this dude? Yes, talk to the man, Steve, about Carter. Good morning, miss. I'm Steve Dorian. I have a lot Hello, of bass in my voice. Uh, Carter! Boy, do I remember that guy. Fucking he up. supervised the unloading Boom of the it. crates from the ship. It was a bunch of stuff for the museum, and he was real protective about it. Okay, great. Great news, thank you. Uh, we need to talk to him about Carrington. Is that a person? It is. Mr. Carrington came in on the Andrea door. And then the museum. I remember because he had the heaviest steamer trunk I've ever lifted. And it smelled funny, too. Gave me a big tip. Then that rich lady picked him up in a taxi. 
He called her the Countess Waldorf Carlton. Learning. Okay. Oh, shit. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Bitch! That's where Mr. Carter's Egyptian crates were going. <laughs> yes, we we're looking for Sarah, Sarah Connor. Actually, Sarah Connor. I'm attending a fundraising party there tonight. That sounds like a formal party. What will it cost to get in? I don't know. Spread me legs for whoever. For the newspaper, so I get in free. I thought the museum was closed today. It's a party, dickhead. Why do you think it's closed? But the party isn't till seven o'clock tonight. Not bad. Common so bastard. Enjoy yourself. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get back to work. Back to work with the fuck real you. Right. Get the taxi, go to low fats. Talk to the boys until they mention ants. What? 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 This game. What the fuck is this shit? Greetings, madam. I can motivate you to your destination if- Oh god, every time, you absolute moron. You're clearly the only fucking taxi driver around here. Why don't you remember me? To what location would you like to be motivated, madam? Fucking low fat, apparently. Uh, to low fat's laundry. Which is 100% not racist. Guaranteed. Have you read that new book by Carl Sandberg? It's Abraham Lincoln, the prayer... Excellent. Shut up. Thanks for traveling. So what's your name, little boy? This is Biff. a good start. Biff, of course My, it is. Ah, what a nice name. So, do you have any interest in hobbies? Killing ants, hitting baseballs through windows, and passing all my wisdom to those younger than me. What's it to you? This is clearly an adult who's had their voice yeah? pitch shifted. Well, don't ask again. Listen to how terrible that sounds. Fucking Jesus Christ. Right, here, you little twat of a baseball. This nifty baseball wouldn't be of any use to you, would it? I don't know. Let's see it. Hmm, not bad. I had a baseball once. I'm not sure about this. I liked it. Signature, but it's not a bad imitation. I drew something on it. And then who knows? Probably threw it away. That's just what I was thinking. I could use that magnifying glass you boys are using. Hey, Scrim, we're using this glass. Have we got a deal? Okay, why not? Here you go. Fuck off, we're using hey, this. What a jip. Deal now though. We yeah, go on then. These ants. Ease up, Stinky. We're almost out of ants anyway. Tell him go to old man Meadow's place and bust up his windows. Yeah. Thanks, lady. Pleasure doing business, which is. What Thank an you, absolute young man. group of cretins. You pick it up and place it in your purse. You pick it up and place it in your purse. MC, what was the last thing you picked up and placed into your purse? Uh, cross the street. It doesn't say look both ways. I don't trust this game, so I'm going to save it. Uh, cross the street. The sequel. Let's go. Fucking. She had about a thousand years to react to that, didn't she? Right. There are no cars coming from this direction. There are no cars. Can't believe that this is actually a thing in a game. Okay. We have we are. <laughs> this is meant to be prohibition, right? Which is why there's a speakeasy in here. So why is there an advert for drinks? It always mocks you a soft drink. I don't know. I don't fucking know. Right. What am I doing? Uh, give them baseball cross street knock on door password is Charleston so no no puzzles to be done here just this is the password we're closed no deliveries wait I know the secret word secret word 
Oh, I see. Very clever, very clever. Where is the Charleston? Where is the Charleston? There it is. Where, where, where did we learn this? Was it the man at the docks, perhaps? I've not been paying attention. The password is Charleston. Well, why didn't you say so? Come on in. You told me to piss off is why I didn't say so, you cunt. Oh yeah, because you wouldn't hear this through that flimsy ass door, would you? What even? What is this game? Talk to Ziggy in front. Is that? Is this the front? This must be the front, right? Talk to Ziggy. Silence Ziggs. alone is great. All else is weakness. Alfred Davini. That's fantastic, love, but that doesn't help. Well, time silence. Stop giving me quotes. It is better to know. Why is this a thing? Is it this dude? Is it this dude? Are you Ziggy? There we go. Who sent ya? Ugh, the twitchy eye freak. Okay, talk to Ziggy. Um, tell him Crodfella sent you. And then ask about Egyptology. Crodfella? He's an old pal of mine. What you wanna know? What's wrong with his voice? Do you know anything about Egyptology? The only Egyptian I know is an accountant named Ramses Nijir something like that. He bugs me. Oh god, this is not good, me. guys. I can never figure him out. What kind of riddles? This is problematic well, at best. Today Ramses came in and asked me a two-part riddle. What's the room you leave without entering? And What's the room you enter without leaving? As usual, I told him I didn't give a hoot about his silly questions, so he left. What's the answer to that riddle? Who cares? Uh, that's it. Just leave. Get a taxi. Move the trash in the dirty taxi until you see dry cleaning ticket and take it. Cool. I love that whistle as well. The fucking car sounds and the whistle are my just my highlight. What the fuck? Cleaned? I cleaned it out two years ago. You got a problem with that? I guess we do have different drivers. Yeah, I'll take you for a ride if you got the dough or if you can prove you as a reporter. For God's sake, every fucking time. Okay, Toots, where can I take you? I have literally no idea. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, apparently, I'm still going to low fats. Is he going to drive me around the block? There's God. <gasps> oh shit! A pair, pair. Yeah, I'll shut up. You pick it up and let me just check. Is that a laundry ticket? A close look reveals that the ticket is two years old. That is a claim ticket. No problem. Right, I assume we're going in. Maybe I assume too much. Ask him about the museum. Okay, right. I can do this puzzle. Because I've read what to do. Car sounds like I may have to trip to White Castle. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Oh God! Right. What? What the fuck am I doing? Giving this cunt a fucking laundry ticket? Eh. Not bad. Fucking big dry clean is this? This Huge. clean ticket two years old today. You very lucky woman. Almost give this clothes away. 
See what the trouble is here. Ready Tuesday. <laughs> Just kidding. Ancient Chinese job. Again, there's an accent, but you can hear the American slip through, so it's just a dude putting on an accent. That's even worse. I'd feel badly if somebody would have come back for this. You worry for nothing. Nobody come in for two year old laundry. Lady who owned this dress probably dead by now. <laughs> You're a strange man, Mr. Fat. But I kind of like you. That's an odd one. Ex-wife just messaging me casually at uh, 37 minutes past nine in the evening asking if I'm going to have the vaccine when it comes out or when my turn comes around. Yes. Yes, I am. For in my own words, I am not a fuckwit. Okay. We are going to the... We are going to we're going to save because I want to cross the road. I don't know if any more cars might be coming. Uh, leaving low lad crossroad. <laughs> let's let's just let's just give it a shot. Immediately dead. <laughs> Fucking game guy. Oh, good lord. Good lord. There are no... There are no... It would be just quicker to just do that every time, wouldn't it? But it's always funny to get run over by that particular red and blue car. Because it kind of looks like it's got a Union Jack thing going. Because it's red and blue. And it just makes me think... Ah, for England. Kill the stupid Southern Bell. Secret word. Really, every time... The password is... Well, Shut up. Right. Hiya, doll face. Looking for a good time? Fucking A, right? Not right now, but thanks for asking. It's your loss, toots. I'll be right here if you change your mind. I have a cramp in my leg. Could you massage it for me, honey? Uh, what, what did she say? Why do I care? I don't care is the answer. I'm gonna put this dress on behind this thing though. Look, actual animations. Nice body. But where did you get those clothes? Salvation Army? Salvation Army? Could you, could you not have got another take out of her? Did, would it have cost that much? Fuck me dead. Fuck me dead. Okay. I have a cramp in my leg. Could you massage it for me, honey? Let's see how this works out. Oh, yes. Touch me again. I will. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, 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 oh. Good times. I had fun. I assume we're going to the museum now, are we? Wait, what? What? What she? What she say? I skipped. Oh. I skipped the dialogue. I didn't realize she was going to say something. How about a free back rub, or a yes. neck rub? Yes. Yes, please both. If you like, I could even do your whole body. Please God, yes. Rubbish. <laughs> Okay. Alright, we are moving on to Act 2. Can you fucking believe it? Who knew all we needed was a walkthrough? <laughs> it's 
music is so weird. It's so weird. Everything about this game is fucking bizarre. I don't understand. Suspects on parade. Your perky demeanor and thorough technique are making you a first-class detective. Thank you. Let's get a save in, shall we? Something sensible. Act two. Now we can be we can be sensible. Some Act two is really uh, really short. Okay. So pass to the guard. Take the water glass. Eavesdrop on fourteen conversations. Talk with everyone. <sighs> so much for it being short. Okay. All right, not bad. Um, I'm of the press. Danke, Fräulein. I'll return this pass when you are leaving. Enjoy yourself this evening. Fuck me. That bell indicating the passage of time there. A little late, I think. Ah, oh, there's the, uh, the, the, the bit that's the, down, down, down there somewhere. It's like I'm fucking fingering someone upside down. Fucking that bitch, you dirty bitch. What is wrong with me? This game has fucking turned me. 14 conversations. Right, how many people are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There are 9 people, so that's good. The food and champagne look good, but you're trying to stay on a diet, so you make the wise decision to leave them alone. <sighs> there I was, standing on the hillside above the excavation in the Valley of the Kings, with a faithful Let's mark off a tally, shall we? The dance of the seven veils to me in great detail, when a shout arose up One. from the workers below us. Sensing an important discovery at hand, since I have a sixth sense about these things, of course you I can't. scurried downhill to see that a step had been uncovered in the sand. It turned out to be the entrance to the Temple of Amun-Ra. I took the trowel from the Boscophere and cleared the sand away from the rest of the steps myself, revealing the entrance to the temple. The seal of the necropolis was intact on the door seal, indicating that the temple had not been disturbed. Belza! I knew that fate had brought me to the discovery I had been seeking for so long. Tireless after my exertion in clearing the staircase, I used a sledgehammer to break through the sealed doorway. Within lay the greatest accomplishment of my considerable career. I just clocked her off to the side like that. In the darkness, untouched for thousands of years in the isolated temple, lay the magnificent dagger of Amon Ra, the oh, greatest that a wank right then. of modern archaeology. Good show. Magnifique. Very impressive, Dr. Carter. There's another accent. So. That's when you heisted it, right? <laughs> no, That's the dude from the I fucking thing, the twitchy eye boy. Annoying little man. I took it out of the temple and showed it to the workers, who immediately fell upon their faces, all <coughs> 350 of them, to show respect for my accomplishment. That's hard to believe, Dr. Carter. Oh, Egyptian God. workers have proudly worked the archaeological digs for many years. I would not think they'd exaggerate their respect for you to such an extent. But then you weren't there, were you, Mr. Najir? Well, no, that's true. And when was the last time you So were this is an Indian Mr. dude. Mr. Najir? And they've just given you him a list. I've lost some of your accent. Well, it has been several years. I thought as much. Your discovery really was quite a remarkable achievement, Dr. Carter. Was remarkable, Dr. Carrington? You mean, it is a remarkable achievement. There has never been anything like it before. Quite so. Correction noted, Doctor. If you will all be excusing me, I see a man I need to speak to. Certainly, Miss Delacroix. Delacroix. Morning. 
How's a uh, camp been? Welcome to this this racist fuckery. We need to uh, take a glass of water. That's something I read. Would you like a glass you of water? You pick it up and place it in your purse. I have placed it in my purse. Right, let's go and get another conversation. Okay, here's a look. The, oh, there, there's the rest of the people. Is she, is she having a conversation with herself? Maybe. No. I can't even drop on shit. Wants me to talk to everyone. I don't want to talk to everyone. <laughs> oh god, get off the screen! Right, legit. Let me. Did it eavesdrop on fourteen conversations? It says that. I've been hyped for days, days. I'm so ready. Just today, I've completely lost my mind because this game is melting my fucking brain. I had no intentions of streaming at all until uh, the 24 hour. At least from last night, I said, this is it, I'm done. But guess what? No, I'm not. The wife is doing TikToks again, so I am here. Right, surely we can eavesdrop this shit. No? You eye this woman with a certain amount of jealousy. Her fashionably high cheekbones, impeccably styled hair, and sultry eyes make you feel mousy and naive by comparison. Right, let's just start chatting with everyone. You must be Dr. Patar Shep uh, I know that one. Quite a party, isn't I know that one. Just let me make sure I know that one. To celebrate thievery in the name of science. Before I tab out to type it into the chat. Not belong here. They belong in Egypt. That's only your opinion. It is the truth. And the thieves who rob Egypt of its ancient treasures will find yes. death waiting for them. I'm Let's just proud. wait for this chat to finish and I'll tab out and do it. I see. Well, hmm. Nice weather we're having. Yeah, yeah, fucking fantastic, innit? It's fucking good. Hot guys. Well, there you go. <laughs> oh my god, I, I, I need I needed to come out of the game actually. I, I'd need a break from this absolute fucking insanity. <sighs> it was rough out there, kids. Oh, I'm really looking forward to shaving tomorrow. This shit is getting too much. Absolute fuckery. I'm not doing my head though. Look at the state of my fucking hairline. Look at that. It's like I'm wearing it's it's it, hair headphones. Just Jesus Christ, absolute state of me. Not shaved my head because I'm hoping we're going to make five hundred quid on our uh, on um on what on what 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 uh, this of course. The old uh, twenty-four hour stream. I'm fully hoping to make five hundred quid. So that we can uh, wax me of hockey and head. <laughs> Didn't know I had hair. Barely. Christ, it just gets worse every every time I look at it. Remember, remember the mohawk. I used to have a fucking mohawk. I used to have a I used to have a fucking long ass ponytail. <sighs> now I'm bald. I'm just a shaved head boy. Anyway, yeah, all for charity though. So let's let's get those donations in, kids, because I want to hit five hundred quid, so that we can, uh, you know, get rid of all this shit on the top of my head. The wax is over there; it's ready to go. 
Let me have a quick refresh on the old uh, donations. And we are up to £125.21. That 21 pence is actually going to fucking finish me off. It totally is. It's, it's, it's not even, is it? It's terrible. Let me get this fucking terrible music back in my ears. Cheers, bro. Okay. Let's go. I don't know what I'm going over there for. I need to actually fucking bring the game up first. Uh, this button. Right, so who did I speak to there? Was it just that dude? How are you, Detective O'Reilly? No, it was that dude. Just fine, lassie. You're looking lovely this evening. That is A-OK. -okay. I think most people are doing that, to be honest. <laughs> Stop guilt tripping you. Me fucking dad donated today, and he didn't even... He's not even... Uh, donated as much as fucking Nittle did. <laughs> Good evening, Dr. Miklos. He says he's going to donate oh, again when his pension evening, comes in. Miss Ball. God bless him. I'm going to guilt trip everybody, though. Dr. Carrington told me you were covering this party for the newspaper. I'm Yvette Delacroix. That's right, Miss Delacroix. I'm writing the social news column. Mm-hmm. Oh, the social news. I was thinking you were here about the burglary. The no. burglary? Oh, of course not. The newspaper would never assign a female cub reporter like myself to such an important story. Ah, uh, you are probably being correct, Miss Bo. I'm not in the mood. To indulge in Shut your cunt mouth, Good then. I'm Laura Bow. I'm just gonna shout at you from between the these other people. High society party goers just ignore you entirely. You're not a part of their accepted social circle and are therefore beneath their notice. Right, listen here, you twat. I'm gonna punch you right in the dick. As soon as I get the punching dick option. Don't touch the happy party goer. Evening. I'm Laura Bow. The snob. Shut up then. Good evening. I'm the snobbish. Good evening. The snob. It said talk with everyone. Good evening. The snob. Good evening. The snob. There was. You get no re silence alone. Right. Off we go. We holler at these fucking wide boys. Being snobbish high society types, these New party dialogue. goers just ignore you entirely. You're simply not a part of their social circle. Drag it. Being being Alright, she's actually moving this Heard time. Heard any good rumors lately? Maybe, or maybe not. What's it worth to you? Well, I don't have any money right now. I was robbed at the start of the game. No rumors for you, tuts. This, this is the Dagger of Amon Ra, which is the sequel to the first game, which I've already forgotten what it is, but believe me, if we press this button... There is not enough memory available right now to show the about screen. That is amazing. That is fucking hilarious. This game... Has given itself its own little amount of RAM and decided there's too much happening here to show us the about screen. Oh, I love it. I love it so. It's so fucking awful. It's from 1992. This is quite a party. Does a museum always have a big fun? I'm genuinely older than some of my friends. Dr. Carter? No, but they've never had such an important exhibit opening here before. See? <laughs> and I'm an important curator with an important salary, so the museum wouldn't have been able to keep me employed here without financial assistance. An important salary. You the writing is just perfect, isn't the it? Museum to go to so much trouble. Naturally. It's lucky that I accepted this position as the head of their new Egyptian antiquities department. 
Why, my name alone will attract more visitors and more money to the museum. Any chance that the Tut Uncommon exhibit will make a stop? The fucking what, love? No. I'd hate to embarrass my relative by putting his Tut Uncommon does a bit, doesn't it? on display here. They pale by comparison to my own great discoveries, such as the Dagger of Amun Ra. Of course. How silly of me to think otherwise. Yes, that was rather silly of you. I know, I'm just a silly woman. Ha 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 ha! Put it in my handbag for later. <sighs> this game. Good evening, sir. My name is Laura Bow. I am Ramses Najia, Miss Bow. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I'm going to have a lisp for this evening. Good evening, Dr. Carrington. Good evening, Miss Bow. Good evening. Being snob yeah, I thought as much. Being yeah, I thought as much. Chit chat. Lady in the pink coat. Hi, I'm Laura Bow, and I'm covering this event for the Tribune Society News column. Good evening, Miss Bow. I'm the Countess Lavinia Waldorf Carlton. Please be sure to spell my name right in your story. Okay. You remind yourself of the principles of investigative journalism. Research... I clicked on myself, didn't I? That's Hi. what happened. You're having such a good time. I thought I'd introduce myself. I'm Laura Bow of the New Orleans Bows. The fanatically happy... No fucks were given. Just ignore you entirely. They're having so much fun, you're sure they're putting on an act to impress their friends. Hi. The fanat... Hi. The fanat... The fin ha, the fin ha, the fin right, I've spoken with everybody. Now all I've got to do is um, listen in on another 13 conversations, apparently. <sighs> I don't understand. I don't understand. Where's my walkthrough gone? Give it back. There it is. Act 2. Show press pass to God. Did it. Take water glass. Did it. Eavesdrop on 14 conversations. Talk with everyone. Eavesdrop by walking behind a group of characters. Look at Tut Smith's medallion when you talk to him. Who the fuck's that? Is it the lisp guy? I bet it's the lisp guy. Please, Miss Bow. I'm a man. Yeah, I pressed the wrong thing. What? Good evening, sir. Good evening, Miss Bow. How the f Is it him? Heard any good Maybe. Well, I then I ain't got. How do I see a medallion? How? How? Let's talk to him. Silence alone is great. Shut up. I'm going to go for a uh, toilet time. I don't know how to make the music stop. There is there is no way. Actually, I could just... Not you. I could just... Uh, there, There is no muting it. You know what? En enjoy the, the sounds of two things happening at once. I'll be back.
Yo. Little Jess and <laughs> fucking MC Gully. Okay, just just checking who's still about. Uh, okay, I'm I'm just gonna move on because I don't believe it's possible to eavesdrop on fourteen conversations. Touch Smith McDowney when you talk with him. Go right to the gift shop. Right, we can do that. Okay, look at the daggers. They look like daggers, right? It looks just like the dagger of Amon Ra. Isn't it beautiful? No worries. Okay, so it looks like the dagger of Amon Ra. Look at them with the magnifying glass. The dagger shows Pittsburgh's heart. Oh no. I've got to look at them all individually. Upon close and It's gonna take hours. This is killing me. That's not the sort of thing you want. Well, you're in the way, aren't you? For fuck's sake. Upon close inspection, you... Upon cl... That one. That one looks real. We have that can't one. can't touch the daggers on display in the locked case. <sighs> it's towards the back. Yes, so it is. Talk with Steve. Go to Egyptian exhibit. <laughs> ding dong, ding dong. There goes the time. Oh, oh, flipping heck. Fräulein, this gift shop is closed. You should not be here. Oh, I'm sorry. Mubad. The door was unlocked. Have I made all the frames and scenes for the mega stream? You fucking know I have. Not only that, I've already made all the fucking uh, thumbnails for when it goes up on YouTube. I will be forced to injure you. I split parts. I've not made like a solid 24 hour one because I'm not sure I can upload 24 hours yet. But, uh, yeah, boy. I got all that shit in hand. Right. Steve. Wait, Steve? Steve's the fucking dock bloke. Why would he be here? What? <laughs> Get off the screen. It's fine. You missed Egyptian song. We literally opened the stream with Egyptian song. That's your bad. Talk with Steve. And go to Egyptian exhibit, which is what presumably everything. You're around the back there, love. In there. Back to the rotunda, Fräulein. The rest of the museum is off limits, and you are spooking their master dance. I don't think I am. This game is just absolutely mind-boggling. Is there someone to go off the side here? I doubt it. Let's go and stand behind these folks. 
I'm eavesdropping. It's a colossal, presumably Ramsey's. These Ramses, my dudes on either side of the screen, looking more like fucking a carla by the bone structure. You've established Titanic will start 1 p.m. by your time. You should be there. All we gotta do is finish it within two hours. How hard can that be? You can do it in under 10 minutes. Should be there for most of the stream. All 24 hours of it, are you sure? Right. Look at Tut Smith's medallion when you talk with him. Who is Tut Smith? Is one of these boys back here? It's probably that dude, actually, isn't it? I'm not in the mood to indulge. Upon close inspection. I am hoping you like what you are seeing, Miss Bo. Yeah, I fucking am. If you look closely at my neck, you will see the scars from the night my pet Wolverine tried to kill me. How I miss little Fluffy. There's Streamlabs, only taking all night once again. Don't look at me like that, Lassie. You're making me nervous. I can't believe I'm actually just walking around be rude. magnifying glass up in motherfuckers' grills. As you study it. Where are you going? You see a bald, greasy, unpleasant little man with over-large paws and a... Yeah, yeah. Stop that, you silly female. <laughs> Please do not scrutinize me so severely, Miss Bo. You are making me nervous. Trying to save my mobile day for Thursday. Good shout. See you later. That's more Pleasure to see rude, you. Miss Bo. Looking at a small portion of the big head really doesn't do justice to the immense size... This walkthrough is literally on sierrahelp.com, right? It's useless. It's literally useless. Tut Smith's medallion when you talk with him. Who? Young lady. It just shows the heads. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. You remind your. Good evening, sir. Good evening. You can't see Good any evening. fucking medallions. Well timed silence. There was silence supreme. Ha! Being sn. Ha! Being. I don't get it. This is absolute bullshit. Pleasure was all mine, as usual. Thank you very much for coming through. This is horse shit, however. Am I supposed to have got... I mean, I feel like someone wrote this as a joke. You know, eavesdrop on 14 conversations when there is, like, literally one. And then, what, well, talk with everyone else. No one wants to uh, talk with you. Look at Tutsmith's medallion when you talk to him. You can't see anything beyond their fucking head. Let's go back in here. That's not the sort of thing you want to examine. Upon close I just want you to look at it regularly. Oh god, please. What a beautiful paint. Fuck your painting. Any medallions it's up a in painting this? Of the medallions? These vessels. These are replicas of a medallions, though. It's a replica of the. Got medallion. They appear. To Let's open Laura, the door. You'd never steal. I mean, I might. <sighs> I'm going to look up a different walkthrough because this one is absolute horseshit. Who 
who made this game should have their nipples twisted. Fucking hey, right, son. I uh, I discovered there's a Warcraft uh, point and click game earlier today. <laughs> it was cancelled at the last minute. It was basically finished, and then just went. Nah, let's not release this. Actually, I've got it. I was very tempted to stream it, but for some reason, when you load it up, OBS can't see. It's just a black screen, which is a great shame. Right. Act two. <sighs> Here we go. Different walkthrough. This is going to make it work. Approach the museum entrance. Blah. Ask all five of the people here about everything you know about. Everything. Everything. Really? Actually everything? Where are you going? <laughs> Excuse me. That's four people. What five people? What are you... Five people here about everything in that book. I can't. There are because there are four people. For a start. And then get off the screen. Then there's another four people. There are no five people. There are either four or there are eight. Stop going behind the table, you stupid cunt. You do have to eavesdrop on a lot of conversations. Jesus, this is, this is stupid guy. <sighs> right. Let's just talk with everyone about fucking everything. Because no walkthrough seems to understand what's going on. your year, Mr. Ziggy? Superb. Simply superb. First I mix a sawbuck in the tiny dancing match. Now here I am rubbing elbow grease with a hoity-toity. Thanks for asking. You ask yourself if you can... I want to ask him, though. You're just in the way. I know the dagger was heisted. I might even know who done it. But I ain't talking. If you know, why won't you go to the police? All I got is a suspicion. I got nothing hard. I do. Way! done for me lately. This is in the interests of justice. Who are you trying to protect? I'm trying to protect me. Now flip. Tell me about Egyptology. We talked about that before, remember? I told you that crazy Egyptian riddle that Ramses guys passed along. Yeah, you did. Do I really have to go through everything with everyone? Because this is going to fucking end me, guy. There are four tabs. There are four tabs. Look at all the shit that we have to deal with. Augustini. Uh, Augustini, yeah. That name rings a bell. Oh, yeah. Uh, he, he the concierge at the plaza? Oh, no, bruh. I don't know. Can't help you with that, toots. Cool, it's great that I had to click you every time I want to talk and then go back to where I was. And then come out. No museum press? Stodgy old guy, but a fine chap. Yeah, that's it, a fine chap. Good man. What's happened to his voice? No! Oh, God, this game. I'll tell you. Most of the cops around these towns stink. But our oldest chief, he, he he's okay. He really knows how to treat a mouthpiece, you know? 
I made some good jack working for him. This dude's accent is just fucking everywhere, isn't it? You've met Rube Crodfaller, haven't you? Certainly I have. Definitely one of the most up and up guys I know. Keeps his nose clean, but knows how to have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, he ain't in my privileged circle of friends. Privileged? What the fuck is this game? What is this game? What is it? What is it? Can someone please tell me what the fuck is going on? Yeah. You know anything about my dad? Is that what they named the stiffs when they don't have an ID? I'm sorry, but I simply have to say that your pronunciation is dreadful. Hey, that's an insult, right? What the fuck? Oh, right, Bo, Doe. Yeah, very good. What's up with this Ziggy Joker? Hey, watch your mouth. You're talking to him. I need a better walkthrough. Give me a good one, please. One that actually tells me what the fucking do. Oh Christ, this this walkthrough is just talking bollocks along the way. This walkthrough is no fucking good. Game FAQs. Come on now. You can do it. There's, there's no assistance. There is no assistance to be had. This game wants you to suffer. And it will see to it that you do. You ask yourself... Shut up. Better to know Shut up. Right. Oh God! You mean the news? It is better. I'm just gonna skip on. I can't cope. I can't cope with this. Have you? Yeah, I found. Laundry. You're not me. You seen it? I saw you in there before. I've done everything. Have I done everything? Just the stuff that I'm actually holding now, isn't it? Can we just click notebook and call it a day? I I don't need no notebook. I am <sighs> Next. I believe he was the Emperor. Yeah. 
That's me, you silly girl. Yay, silly girl. Dark tech seems. I want to get involved with the with the, the game, but honestly, it's giving me nothing. So fuck it. Ah uh, yes, can't say I'm too impressed with Detective O'Reilly. No, I, I tried to listen for a second there, but then I remembered how much shit I've got to go through. So. A crod follow is some sort of miniature vegetable, isn't it? Yeah, sure. Why not? Rather an unfortunate. You ask yourself. <sighs> You must be very upset Let's about just talk to burglary. everyone about the burglary. Sure, that's Quite it. So. I can't even speak. That's how fucked everything's got them. Still my dagger of Amun Ra, they won't live to regret it, I can assure you. Oh my. Do you have any idea who would do such a thing? I have my suspicions, but I need more proof before I subject him to the full force of my wrath. Have the police learned anything? Those incompetence. Hardly. They couldn't even find any clues around the dagger display. Sounds like the burglar might have been a professional. Perhaps. It's more likely the local constable couldn't find a clue if it jumped up and bit him on the bum. You there! Fucking buglery. Mr. Najia, would you have any idea who might have stolen the dagger of Amon Ra? No, but whoever did should be boiled alive. He should be fed to hungry crocodiles. His gut In a bit, MC, thank you for pyramid. tolerating this bullshit He's as long as you have. Oh, excuse me. I get a little path in it on the subject. Fuck me, Dad. Quite alright, Mr. Najia. I understand. What do you make of the theft of the dagger, Dr. Carrington? It's simply beastly. What is the world coming to when crepuscular ruffians can invade a museum like Visigoths? Do you have any idea who could have done such a thing? Not at all. But if I did, I'd be tempted to teach the brute a lesson. <sighs> Fuck off. Please get off the screen. Eavesdropping. Guess not. If you ask me, Missy, they're blowing the whole thing out of proportion. Bigora, you'd think that something important had been stolen. You don't consider a priceless Egyptian artifact to be important? It's fucking Listen, insane. Girl, if I chased down every petty theft that occurred within the nastier segments of the population, I'd be working 30 hours a day. Maybe you fucking should instead of going to parties, you the swat. the Deca Museum a nasty segment of the population, Mr. O'Reilly. And if you're referring to our Egyptian visitors, shame on you. And don't call me girly. By me father's whiskers, you're a fiery one, Miss Laura. All right, I won't call you girly, little lassie. Dr. Miklos, do you have any idea who would want to steal the dagger of Amon Ra? Ha! <laughs> Very funny. Everybody, silly girl. It's a priceless artifact. I can't cope. Not I can't that, cope. I need a fucking proper walkthrough. It's an alloy that can slice through bone like butter. Hmm... Um, I suppose that was a silly question. Ask all five of the people Let me here. That. Do you nine. know of anyone with any particular motive? Well, Todd Smith and Ramesses Najir both wanted it very badly to return it to their homeland. 
but they are both so upset, it hardly seems possible that they could have done it. Then again, perhaps they are just fine actors. <laughs> This is a terrible walkthrough as well. There's lit, there's nothing, there is nothing that makes any sense anywhere. Sorry, I know this must be really fucking entertaining. I've got another one here. It says, question Tut Smith, left, right, in brackets. What the fuck do you mean, left, right? Must be this dude. Question this motherfucker. Okay. Wait, what? No. Five. What? Center left. Center second. Center center. Center right. Center. Right, again? So there should be five people there. What? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking losing my mind. There's four. There are four. Ziggy. Centre left. That's him. Dr. Mikos. Left centre. Ryan O'Reilly. Who's missing? Rhino Rally is missing. Let's let's leave and come back again. Nope, still bullshit. Fish, she? <laughs> Two. Yes, those French women really have something. I don't think my wife would ever have done it in a mummy case. In my vast experience of women from different lands, I tend to agree with you, Mr. Niger. I balked when a certain French woman suggested we have a deep conversation on the back of a dinosaur, but I was pleasantly surprised by the results. Yes, Miss Delacroix is certainly the cat's pajamas, is the American. What, what are say. they saying? Yeah, we does come up with some good sayings, don't we? Quite. Good lord, I hadn't realized a woman was present. Please excuse us, Miss Bow. Oh, I wasn't actually listening to you, gentlemen, Dr. Carrington. I wasn't listening. I just happened to be standing here. With me, excuse me hand up to me ear. <clears throat> uh, and now the people have moved. Okay, sure. Sure. Questioning about the burglary, because I assume that's the only relevant one. What do you make of the theft of the dagger of Amon Ra, Countess? Oh, it's horrid. Simply horrid. 
What sort of creature would make off with a priceless work of art, I wonder? Do you have any ideas about who it might have been? Oh my, no! I try not to associate with dreadful people, dear girl. Well, obvs. Sorry, just let me see my face just for a quick sec. Yeah. I was just checking that Ben was still streaming. Sometimes, uh, Twitch lies to me. We have already discussed that. Sorry, I didn't realise that you were that person. How many times you... Or you that. It is better to... Let's just mooch. Please get off the screen. Good evening, Doc. Good evening, Miss. I'm really very busy, Miss Bow. I don't have time to. Sauce. The fanatically. The fan. The fan. Oh, we're going for the long route. This bitch's knee is all fucked up. Brian, oh, he's dropping. I'm the eldest of times keeping my hands off you. Oof. Not here, Yvette. There's too many people. They are not important. You are the most powerful man here, my Ryan. What about that Carrington guy? He's president of this museum. The doctor, he is old and weak. Nice roughly he dress she's got going on, I will say. Strong. Better than our fucking ridiculous thing with the ball. cucumber button. Oh, well, I thought I heard you call my name. You must have been here and Looks like she's got fucking rollers in. Your name. Oh, sorry. Uh, I've got to be going now. Excuse me. Okay. The happy part. The happy. The happy. The happy. Wait, they've all moved again. And what were you doing when that fancy dagger was being stolen then? Let me see. Hmm. I was sleeping in my hotel room. You don't sound too sure about that. I haven't been sleeping too well since I arrived in this country. I'm tired. <coughs> I'm not thinking too well. As You're long as I've got a hold on my mustache, I'm good. You're having a guilty conscience then. I do not <coughs> understand your meaning, Mr. O'Reilly. Perhaps it is the English. It is such a curious language, not as clear as the Egyptian. Well, you say the dagger is what brought you to this country. If I were in your position, I'd be tempted to steal it. Steal what has already been stolen? The dagger of Amon-Ra belongs to the Egyptian people, Mr. O'Reilly, not to Dr. Carter, not to this museum, and not to this country. I'd be watching what you're Seems like a pretty good team. reason to steal it, right? Your hole deeper with every word. Mm. Amon Ra will seek his own vengeance on those who have removed his dagger from Egypt. Amon Ra does not require my help. You say you were sleeping when it was stolen. Were you alone? That, sir, is none of your business. Definitely, yes. Oh, that's where you're wrong, Dr. Smith. It is my business, as long as you're a suspect in the burglary. A suspect? Do you Americans have no shame? I'm here to gain the return of the dagger by legal means. Ask Dr. Carrington. Wait, that's I man's... Have talked to... Oh, shit. I was going to say that's man's medallion. I'm meant to be looking at that, right? Right, who are we going to go and fucking listen to next? Let's crawl around the back here. Crawl right in front of him. Nah, nothing. C 
Cool. Nothing fresh. Sweet. My favourite. Only ten to go. Should we save it? More. <gasps> no. Now there's a slippery old bat. If she's royalty, then I'm Rudolph Valentino. Oh my god. There are so many people though. How am I supposed to know? <laughs> He's not much of a secure. Just skip on, bruh. Steve. He seems nice. Ah, he doesn't he just. What about you? Do you have any fucking useful things to say? What about this fucking, what is it? The burglary, yeah? I'm really very busy, Miss. Sorry, I didn't realise it was you. I can't tell from all the pixels. Do you want to tell me about Dr. Tut? What a tiresome fellow. I take quite a narrow view of fanaticism. <sighs> Great. That's fucking fantastic, that is. At least, I wish it would just cross off. Like, if you've spoken to someone about something, fuck me, Dad. I, this game is not designed for me, and I'm fully admitting ah, that. Monsieur O'Reilly, he's magnifique. He's so intelligent, so confident, so... Ooh la la. Ooh la la. I assume you've met him before tonight. Oh yes, we are, how do you say, the old friends. The old friends. It never hurts to have the highly placed friend on the local police force, no? No. I suppose that's true. What do you think of his burglary investigation? People here, they keep saying Monsieur O'Reilly, his investigation of the dagger is not good. But he tries very hard. I have seen him work. Team. But the dagger thief, he is very good, no? I mean, not really. I found it. You think the burglar was a man? It is only the manner of speaking, Miss Bo. This burglar, she could have been the female as well. What's her name? Yvette. Is it Yvette? It must be. It's the only woman's fucking name there, isn't now, it? Now there's a lovely girl. A real lady, don't you know? Aside from the Countess, obviously. Oh, that was totally worth it. The food. I couldn't give two fucks about the food, uh, frankly. I just want to advance things. Please walk slower behind the massive head. Don't touch. Good evening. Young lady, if you want to ask me questions for your newspaper, that's fine, but... Right. You absolute shit piece. Steve Dorian. The Stevador with a ridiculous name. The Countess was married to the former president of the Lion Decker Museum, Sterling Waldorf Carlton. A good chap, but uninspired. Now she has a... Really? Interesting. Of course I know Ramses. There were several of them, actually. Ramses the first was Pharaoh during the 19th dynasty from 1307 to 13 from 12 nine his more Shut up. Actually, I was referring to Ramses Najir. Yes. Never heard of him. Is isn't isn't that that, that dude? Ah oh, yes. I'm Lex the security chief here. 
Not a particularly good one, obviously, since the dagger was stolen right from under his nose. And he's rather too intense for my tastes. Whatever. That trollop sleeps with everything that moves. And some things that don't. Well, hey! It's only <laughs> by sheer strength of will that I've resisted her advances so far. You aren't oh, no, friends with that swine, are you? Well, no, I'm not, actually. <laughs> Good. You'd do well to stay clear of that Egyptian pig. That bloated maggot ought to be it's literally in front of you. Back to the dung laden wasteland he came from. Jesus. I get the impression you don't like him very much. You could say that, yes. Why not? I'd rather not say. Do you always pry into people's personal affairs like this? Yes, I do. It's my job. You're a professional busybody? Pretty much. I'm a reporter. Same thing. Shit me, there's someone else there. Fucking out of this immediately. Who the fuck are you? Good evening, Dr. Miklos. Oh, good evening, Mr. That was the fifth, I think. But we have already discussed... Oh, okay. You ask yourself if you... Good God. Um, great. From the top, then. Mr. Augustini? I don't care. I don't care. I genuinely don't care. I care when I press exit by mistake. Yep. Doc what makes Look. you say oh. that, Dr. Makler? I have seen him walking amongst the dead in the Egyptian exhibit late at night. I Feels relevant. It's better than moonlight on headstones. Ah. Who the fuck was I you talking about? Oh, would you stop, woman? Was it that one? Fucking there he is! I knew he would! I had a feeling! I had a feeling the other night. And it didn't come he didn't come true, but here he is with some people to watch me fucking struggling with this bullshit. How are you doing, Ben Pie? I do not believe that he likes the dead at all. Can you imagine? Bruh, I'm struggling. What's with the UK in your name? That's new. There's someone there's someone from another country trying to take your name. Not having that, mate. Not having that. I'll fucking I'll find him. I'll find him. So you join me in what was a simple paragraph in a walkthrough uh, for an entire act. Turns out it's it's an actual nightmare. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm playing a game from 19... Well, you are from the UK, that's true. I'm playing a game from 1992 and I'm just having just the worst... Just the worst time. The worst time. I am sorry, but I don't it's know. It's driving me mad. Is. It's sexist. Ah, it's it racist. The accents are just everywhere. <sighs> and here we are. Here we are, friend. You know where we're gonna be another time though. Let me just go to my face real quick. Uh while we tab out, because I've set up a frame that uh unfortunately when I go to main uh, desktop it cuts out some of the pieces but if we go to that one that's the thing that we're doing well we've got a whole bunch of people coming through that's that's happening on Wednesday charity stream 24 hours let's let's do it <laughs> uh, it could be worse you could be playing bomber from the ZX81 uh, I could be I don't know what that is that's something I'm gonna write that down I've got notes because this this game is just absolute. You can't even see me right now because of this. But no, not now, CC Cleaner. You fucking unbelievable. What is it? <laughs> Bomber. 
ZX81. Nice. I'm making notes. I'm making notes. Yeah, we're doing we're doing the charity stream. 24 hours straight through and shit. We're up to about 125 quid so far, so we're pretty close to the cracker challenge. It was going to be a cinnamon challenge, but then uh, we got told off by a whole lot of people saying, that's incredibly dangerous, you might go to hospital. So we changed it to just eating crackers and going, oh, God, dry mouth. <sighs> Fun. Fun. Uh, then some hot, some hot sauce, and Krusty knows what hot is. Krusty thinks things... Uh, Krusty believes mild things... What, what words am I trying to say right now? Krusty, with his hot sauce taste, will have something that he would deem mild, that I would deem hot. So he's found a hot sauce that is too much for him. So I will die, which is great. And uh, also, I really, I've, I've done this already. Look, let's look, oh, this, this, I really need a haircut. By that, I mean, I, I just really want to bick my head which is what I do on the regular, but I've not done it in the hopes that we will wax it. Because, again, I'm, I'm, look, look, you can kind of see it. I'm, I'm ready to wax. Ready to wax, friend. So, how was your stream, mate? You're getting a follow. Be there on Wednesday. Nice! Love it! There is the follow. There is the follow. The proof is in the pudding. I appreciate it. And there's Streamlabs with the drop. Perfect timing. Thank you, Streamlabs bot. You are doing your job. What's your best mate to cancer nine years ago and got a couple of mates fighting the good fight at the moment? No way, man. That is not cool. Personally, uh, I lost my mum to it some, fuck me, like 17 years ago? Is it 17 years I'm 36. I was 19. Maths. My uh, gracious bears compadre, uh, Mr. K to the G, uh, his girlfriend, she just lost her dad to it like a few weeks ago. So, you know, it's it's time. It's time. We've been planning this for like five years. It's, it's time to get it done. Anyway, this f absolute fuckery of a bullshit game. That's the wrong button. We want that one. The one where you can see it. Uh, oh, I don't. It's such an old adventure game that you can hang over things and it doesn't say what they are. It's just stress. It's just stress from start to finish. And I don't know where the finish is. I'm meant to be walking around, right? And eavesdropping on 14 conversations. I don't know how to trigger them. All the, all the advice I'm getting from... Literally a shit ton of walkthroughs is talk to everyone about everything. Look at everything I can talk to them about. I'm going to be here for the rest of my fucking life. I haven't had the pleasure of meeting him. I don't care then. I'm literally just skipping through shit. Ah, truly a man of great ambition and integrity. No, no. Give me something where she responds, because as far as I, I, I think, when she responds to Dr. something, Carrington. it's now, a good... Are. Yeah, there we go. I, I think that's progression. Mr. Dorian said that Alton F4, Dr. I know, right? When he arrived on the Andrew so crap Dorian. at these games. It's going to be real yes, quick so for a group. Oh, no. Well, I mean, no, go for your life, I mean, bro. Yes, I did meet him that night. Our families are... Uh, I couldn't possibly have another cup of tea at this point. I've had about fucking 14 cups of tea today. Upon his arrival, noblesse oblige, you understand. Probably more, actually. Guess to a point. Get up in the morning, drink copious amounts of tea until my mouth is too dry, move on to squash or fizzy pop or even water, get into the evening, and then if I'm going to stream, crack the beers. It's a good life. It's an okay life. I've streamed for five days on the trot right now, by the way. You know the reason? It's because my wife is in the next room live on TikTok. And she's been doing that for days on end. She got like 4,000 fucking followers in four days. And she won't shut up. And I'm like, bruh, I've got like 300 followers on YouTube for like the last 10 years. I fucking hate TikTok. <laughs> it's ruined me. You're a coffee drinker. Well, that's fair. 
and teetotal, not had a drink in nearly four years. Congratulations, guy! Congratulations! I have a I have a friend also that um, had to knock that shit on the head, and he's been going for well, fuck. I don't remember at this point because I've not seen him in properly. I've not seen him properly in well, you know, a year. But that man, that's that's fucking excellent. Congratulations, dude! I love it. That was a good conversation. Uh, you? My, 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 what an intense gentleman he is. Why, he's practically obs... Oh, God, I just, I just want to die. This, this entire act is just going from one side of this room to the other side of this room, just talking to folk until something triggers... <sighs> Didn't have to, you just got oh you just got bored of it. And you ride a motorcycle. Ah, safety first. So not good having a hangover on a bike. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. Uh the dude that photographed my wedding. Not drink related, but um the dude that photographed my wedding, he um he came off a bike one time. Uh because the dude in the car wasn't paying attention, and his foot ended up just hanging off by ligaments. So that's fun. Yeah. Think bike. I generally do. Oh, fuck me dead though. What am I meant to do in this set of circumstances? Now, I'm going to try and trigger something else. You got T-boned -bon uh, on the roundabout about three years ago. Well, that doesn't sound fun at all. Back to the rotunda for a line. The rest of the museum is off limits. And you are spooking their mastodons. Is it enough to make people move? No, of course it isn't. We talked to any of these twats. Ha, being no. Shut up. Oh, God. This is, oh, this is such a terrible interface. Hold on for six foot, but only down your elbow. That's, that's not bad. That could have been a lot worse, right? Are these people I can talk to? Good evening. The snob. No. Why are you? Good evening. The snob. Good evening. The snob. Oh God! What do I do? Bruh. I've already lost. <laughs> I've already lost over half of the people that Benpai brought in. Thank you very much, Benpai, for bringing these people in. Rage quit, bruh. I was so close at the start, just at the start, that like I, I sat through about 20 minutes of intro, got to the first puzzle and was like, what is this, this interface? What am I meant to be doing? Nothing works and I got run over by a fucking car. So, I'm, I'm living my best life over here, absolutely. I really have got to talk about, talk to everyone about everything. Trouble is, I'm not remembering what I'm talking to everyone about, so... Just having a bad time. And you've got to be pixel perfect with where you're clicking as well. Because you'll notice that she's standing you right in front of this dude. Oh, hello. He is a blasphemous temple destroyer and tomb robber. Yeah, 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 yeah. Conversation, 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 conversation. Right. So you'll notice she's standing right in front of him. So you think, oh, you click you click the dude, it'll just go through her. You no. If you can handle the task set before you, then demonstrate your characteristic pluck by resolving to do your best. I really want them to remake this game. I'd love a remaster of this, just so there could be a hint system. You know, like in the Tales of Monkey Island? Or, was it? Well, it was Secret Monkey Island, wasn't it? The Tales was actually the fifth game by Telltale. But, you know, the special editions, where you can just press H for hint, and it's like, there you go. And you're like, nice. I had hoped that Dr. Carrington would listen to reason. I, had made I remind you of a good friend of yours. About the return of the dagger of Amon Ra to its rightful home. I'll take that. This seems future. <laughs> I'll take that. In the museum. Another appointment. You Whatever makes you feel comfortable up already? in this bitch. Only by phone. He denied even uh. the name to the dagger. It was hoped that a personal visit would convince him of our sincerity. But the situation oh, has... Oh, bro, I need a masseuse up in this. Can I, do you reckon I can get a masseuse in? 
like for the 24 hour stream do you reckon do you reckon the wife would let that fly what do you reckon just like somewhere halfway through the stream just getting masseuse in like Krusty can play a game I'll be getting fucking a full full work over on the table in the back then we'll switch out <laughs> yeah that's probably not going to work out is it nah it's a good shout but I can't see it working is this the one that we just did I have no I idea believe he's investigating the bird. right no cool Newspaper guy, the racist name, <laughs> uh, her dad. Let's try Ziggy. Never heard of it. You were literally chatting with him earlier, bruh. Not a problem, though. We'll move on. You're not going to know him. What about her? I have only met her briefly. Great story. Tell me about yourself. Ramsey's... No. Actually, I was referring y to AMC's Nigeria. Nigeria. Nah, man, I'm not in Manchester. I used to be. I used to be oh, a long, long time ago. I'm uh, I'm nearer to you than Manchester. Actually, I'm on the Wirral. English is such a difficult. I left Manchester when I was 12 years old, but Manchester is still the motherland, and uh, of course, I represent the Mancunian. Which just turns out some fucking hip hop crew stole the name from. I say stole. Me and my mates who came up with it, one of them just gave it to him. I remember listening to a track. He was like, "Oh, listen to this." He was like, "Oh, Mancunian." I was like, "Bro, that's us." It's like, yeah, I gave him, I gave him that. It's like, you fucking dickhead. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Who's this? Let's chat about this. Ah, a delightful girl. I keep asking her. Just throw through it. Like to be my How? Wife. It's a peninsula. So very feminine. Use it as a ramp to get over to Liverpool. Charming and attractive. <laughs> and. Okay, okay. I get the idea. You should try to be more like Yvette. Men would like you more that way. This Men game. Men like me just fine the way I am. That's what I you think. I find you quite annoying. <laughs> Fuck me dead. Fuck me dead. You got lost. When did you get lost? I mean, I could... I was going to say I could probably help. I mean, you've clearly found your way. I was kind of interested in if, if you uh, knew a particular area you might have ended up in so I could sort of relate myself to where that was. I am a representative of the First Patch Test eight years ago. And Probably not going to remember them. My mission is to recover what rightfully belongs to us, not to Peep and Carter or this pathetic museum. Did I, uh. Wife pissing herself in the next room? TikTok is clearly hilarious live tonight. I presume we did the burglary. We must have. Have you heard anything about the burglary? No. Do you have any idea who would want to steal the dagger of Amon Ra? It has already been stolen. Coming back from Blackburn. From <laughs> that's I can that's see quite I the exit. Anywhere with you on this topic. Well, wrong exit, rather. When when we first started coming over here, um, because we moved here from Manchester. You come through the M53 and then you get to like the the flyover and it's like this way is all docks and this way is Liverpool and, and if you, it's if it's your first time and sat navs aren't a thing which they weren't some fucking twenty five years ago nearly twenty two twenty three years ago oh, fuck me I'm so old I've spent so much time on this fucking peninsula no matter yeah you just you just fucking tend to take the wrong fucking exit and you end up heading towards Liverpool and you got to go through the tunnel. You get up to the fucking toll booth like, I don't want to go here! And he sends you up this ramp and then you end up in this fucking well sketch area. It's great! Love where I live. <laughs> Fuck me dead, right? Let's go. Yeah, I suppose you wouldn't mind because you just get to just drive your bike more and my understanding from my biker friends is just riding a bike is good good evening good e you ask yourself if you can handle the t 
Oh, I've fucking done it again. Right, you, knobhead. I bore rather easily. Right, so we've already cleared that one. Have we done this one? Oh, I do enjoy a bit of crowd follow with my tea. A bit of fucking what? It's not relevant then. Cool. Did we do this one? Well, to tell you the truth, dear girl, yeah. I find him to be a crude. Yeah, full tank of fuel, just roll on. Oh, take your time, pal, take your time. I know not everyone's as uh, privileged as I to be able to just sit here and smoke willy nilly. I'm desperately trying to make this game progress. Yeah, 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 woman. Yeah, we did that one, didn't we? You ask your. I'm sure I've never. Yeah, it's completely relevant that one. Ba 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 Ziggy. He seems a perfectly dreadful little fellow. Let's not discuss him. Reasonable. What a lovely boy. He has such charming manners. And he's so handsome, hmm? Hmm? <sighs> you know what? Sometimes the flooring being a bit of an angle is not that bad. Because your fridge closes itself. Maybe it's the fridge that's at an angle. I don't know. I've never bothered to check. Ba, 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 ba. Tell me about yourself. Why, that's me, silly child. I know. Don't... Useless. Useless. No. No! Shut up! Fuming. Oh, Mr. Heimlich is simply dreadful. I think his tiny taste of authority has gone to his little head. Don't you, Miss Bo? Okay, for everyone that's still knocking around and anyone that appears to have come in since the, uh, the raid... We're doing a 24-hour stream on Wednesday, so if you if you want to hit follow now, that'll be fucking belting, because I really want as many people to come through for our 24-hour stream as possible, and also, if you've got a little bit of cash, knock it about, spare, maybe do a little donation, it's for Mill and Cancer Support, and obviously they do great work. So I just, just say those words while I'm trying desperately to make this game fucking move forward. I am not interested in discussing that little trollop. I bet she was a trollop once, dirty old bitch. Okay, so what have we done? Have we done everything? The places. Not talking to me about a speakeasy, bro. Wouldn't know, Miss Bo. I am a family man, and I do not frequent such scandalous places. I The Lion Decker is a beautiful museum, Miss Bo. I just want someone to reply to this shit I'm saying. The docks are dreadful rough places, Miss. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't mean reply. I want I want her to my character. I need her to say something. Because I think that I means think I've actually made some is simply divine, don't you? progression. <sighs> I can't believe I'm still here. I genuinely can't believe I'm still New here. Is Miss Bow, you must be sure to avoid such dens of iniquity. They can only ruin a young lady's reputation. Give me someone to get changed. Hey, bro, what about you? We have already done. I <sighs> Moving on. Fourteen conversations to over here. We're up to four. Still. Mark my word. Do you be gone? <gasps> yes, girl. Tis truly the land of opportunity. Just look at me. That might be relevant. It's all. She had a reply. The di the 
They're pretty. New York's police. Just gotta get through it. Get through it all. The Tribune is. Detective O'Reilly, the Tribune is a fine, upstanding paper. See, this is and working. No, I don't want to be a secretary, but it would be none of your business if I did. Tamper, tamper, Missy. I thought you reporters were supposed to stay objective. Objective? Well, I. Shut the fuck up. You ask yourself. Who's this? Monsieur Agostini, you know him. All right. So we've not spoken to this one about fucking anybody then. Ah, uh, Monsieur. Yeah, this is the slag. He's got too many. Wait, what? Questions. Accidentally clicked the wrong person there. Good times. Doctor Carrington. What bad thing? There we go. Is very strange, even That's for str a man. Doctor Strange. Ah, but you are trying to trick me, no? It's best that I am not talking about him. It's best that this game fucking moves on from this area, frankly. No. You already asked me the Did I? Did I you actually? Ask yourself. Can we ask you her ask something? Your... Can we ask her something? Killing me off this. <laughs> Ah, oh, the code follower. I met. You fucked him as well. No fat, I know him. The little. You know everyone, don't you? Do you know me, Dad? I do not believe I have met your father. Huh. What a shock! The annoying little man. I met him at this. Okay. Oh no! Right. I'm noticing that if she's run away, then I must be clicking on the wrong person. So it's not a problem. We'll just move on. We'll just move Buzzy on. Steve, he is so big and uh Good lord. What do you mean? Her last husband, he was afraid of her. He told me. Then as I learned more, I was becoming afraid of her too. Nice. Welcome nice back lady. to this absolute she fuckery. She is a dangerous one. Now I think she is after Dr. Carrington's money since I am seeing them together so often. Honestly, I think I've spent over an hour in this little room. I don't room. understand. It's driving Why me nuts. is she so dangerous? Just be trusting me, Miss Bo. Stay away from the Countess. People die when she's around. Oh, dear. Again, for anyone that's uh, not paying attention, we are doing a 24-hour stream starting 9 a.m. Uh, English time on Wednesday uh, for Macmillan's Cancer Support. And it would be great if you would do us a cheeky follow so that you get a little notification when we come up. Be even better if you do us a donation towards the cause. If only for the fact I want to hit 500 quid so I can have a haircut via wax. Do you think Mr. Najia could have stolen the dagger? Why, because he is the Egyptian? I do not think so, Miss Bow, but I do not know him so very well. He is I know, a right? man after all, and who knows how they Bit are of Miss Marple him. action up in this. You ask yourself. Please stop clicking on yourself. Monsieur Heimlich, he's... Do you suspect him? Who knows? I am not the... Just... Just... You ask yourself. Don't ask yourself he anything. Knows. Stop asking yourself. Why are you asking yourself? Why are you asking yourself? That is me, silly. Yes, I am Yvette de la... Fucking game. It's a fucking game. It's gonna be the end of me. Dr. Smith... He is very concerned. Do you think he Perhaps Right, this this is a good girl. She seems to know a lot about a lot. Or at least some stuff about some things. I've just realised I'm just clicking off to the side. It's her! This whole time I'm trying to click her. I'm such a fucking moron. This game has actually fucking melted my brain. Clearly. Don't care. I Don't care. I don't care. 
Should we take a vote? Do I care? No, I don't. I just want to get through all this fuckery as quickly as possible. Because she seems to be the one to talk to. What about this, though? I knew she'd have conversation about that place. I was the hostess there for a while. With your of course you were. You must have gotten a lot of tips. You was well attractive. I bet they gave you mad box. I got some very big tips. Big tips. This fucking game. Uh, water glass. Do you want to have a little look at this? What are you doing with the water glass? Listening at the doors? <laughs> Just kidding. Kidding! This is fine. What do you know about Egypt? You should ask. I should, but I won't. Right, who am I talking to? I'm afraid I don't know. Someone I've not spoken to about all of these people, apparently. The fellow has quite... Again, I've got to. No, oh, he's a good enough chap. I've got to oh, eavesdrop Lord, on Lord, fourteen Lord. conversations. I've only done four. We've not triggered I'm an not event that makes me able to overhear shit yet. <laughs> I've never even. Just, just generally having a bad time in this game. A steward? I should have watched a speed run. A speed run would tell me what to do. The walkthrough sure as shit don't. Now there's a lady who I really Yeah, my bad I didn't fucking progress. That's what I meant to do. Now there's an int Oh, he's just all about talking absolute bullshit. He's a Wait, is that a New name? No, no, it's not. You already asked me. I wasn't trying to talk to you, funnily enough. Just the game is doing what it does. I am. Uh... I don't. Like, normally, the first time I play an adventure game, I want to listen really to everything. Bad. But when it's taking the piss like this, just put it in the bin, friend. Put it in the bin. I don't know what it wants from me! Oh god, just go out there, you twat! What does it want? What does it want? Rearranged? No! I don't know what it wants. I don't know, I don't know what the game wants. It must want something. It must want, must want me to speak to certain people about certain things, and then we can just get on with it, right? Ha! The fanatic. But honestly, I mean, what's what's left? What's left? I've covered all the people. Let's cover all the places. That's, I don't read the news. That's all we can do. So we can just go through everything. Oh, the good heavens! I've only been the lot. It's driving me nuts. Do you like New York, Doctor? This Kennedy? is a good one. This is a progression. To be frightfully honest, at first I found it to be a bit rough around the edges. But now I'm beginning to see its somewhat primitive charm. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe I'm getting this shit wrong. Miss Bow, I wouldn't be... Of course you wouldn't, fam. 
course you wouldn't. Have you felt? Yes. And what is? It's not. The f Egyptology. Right, we did all the people, didn't we? Let's just do all the places. You already asked. Fine. You already. See, this is this is what I get for not fucking paying attention to you who are. I've spoken to about about what. Yes, yes, we did speak to her you about already. literally everything, didn't we? Okay, well let's try the miscellaneous. Has this been a good year for? Oh yes, every. Why that seems like a very healthy point of view. I wish it was a new dirty rapper because I feel that in this day and age that would be a new dirty rapper. But in 1992, I think that's racist. That's racist. I'm not endorsing it either way. I'm not endorsing it as 1992 racism. I'm certainly not endorsing it as a fucking uh, modern day rapper because fuck me, I want to punch him in the face already. Monkers? Pardon? Le pardon? I won't have to stop this, haven't I? Fuck, fuck me, Dad. Fuck me. Fuck me until I die. That man is a human. That man. <laughs> Oh, this is absolutely fucking tedious. Right, let me just check. Let me do that one again. I'm a busy man. Cool, right. Indicates we haven't spoken about that dude before. Why, that That's you, yes, I know. I just fucking just clicking everything. Didn't even click something that time. That's how well this is going. I'm a busy man. Okay. Right, I figure we probably started with these and just... That. No? No, we didn't do that one? Why, what the fuck is this? Now there's a man who... Oh my god. Oh my dear lord Jesus Christ. I'm a busy man. Right, so we did that one though. I'm a busy... I don't. Alright, that's a different thing to say. I'm a busy. I'm a fucking busy man. I think it changes as well, like as things go on, which makes this even more fucking tedious. I'm a busy man. There's an odd one. I'm a busy man. He is a busy man, isn't he? Even when I'm talking about places, he's a busy fucking man. I'm a busy See, he's a busy man. Is he a busy man now? I'm a busy Fucking is as well. Oh, just exited. Right, let's skip on. Let's try New York. I'm a, I'm a fucking busy man. I don't know why you're fucking carrying asking me the same fucking shit over and over again. You stupid fucking bitch. Detective O'Reilly, has 1926 been a good year for you? Oh, most definitely, lass. I've put away more criminals this year than you'll ever see in your whole life. Hmm. That makes it both a bad year and a good year, doesn't it, Detective? I mean, if there were that many criminals on the loose to begin with, we must be in some sort of crime wave. You see it your way, last. Just occurred to me, Ben. See it mine. You asked about the lighting. Here's the lighting. Thought I'd give you a full screen. I know I've already given you one. There's some shit going on in the background, including a uh, big gold belt. If I can, if I can get my pointing to just right, there it is. This is the big gold belt. The big gold belt. There it is. Living its best life. Let me, let me, let me take you out, bruh. Oh, over here. The bottom layer, there's a lot of uh, statues, including the Streets of Rage 4 one. There's no zooming. The second shelf is all Bioshock. Literally, nothing but Bioshock. 
all the the masks and the fucking I don't know. Yeah, just mask displays. What have we got? We've got Dishonored, we've got We Happy Few, the Doom Helmet that you can wear. Scorpion is there. There's another one, I'm sure, as well. You can't really see it. There's, and then there's the comic books. Not a lot. There's some of my bald head. What's over here? Uh, there's the Streets of Rage 4 box. Behind that is all the vinyls. The old-ass TV for the Sega. Mega Drive, Mega CD. The 32X is not currently plugged in. R2-D2 telephone hanging around down there. Next to Money in the Bank, as you do. Uh, SNES is on the other side. And the blue, the blue tacks come off, so that's good. Oh, it's just a lot of fun. There's a lot of fun shit just knocking around in amongst all of the ever-changing lighting. And now my camera is forever fucked, for it has come away from its base. Oh no, now I'm pushing it down. <laughs> it's been... Oh fuck, did I break something? Did I break something? Or have I made it better? I don't know. I've just I've discovered a feature of this camera I didn't know existed. So who knows? Is it good? Is it bad? No do bra <laughs> It's funny because every now and then that pops up on my timeline. Uh hey, do you remember this from uh back in the day on Facebook? And I'm like That Duke Nukem, that Duke Nukem Forever's coming out. I really want that bust. <laughs> I didn't get the bust. I got the game. And you know what, as, as with everyone else, it was a terrible, terrible mistake. <laughs> ben, you'll get, you'll get all your cool stuff. In time. In time. In time you have your cool stuff. But, uh, but yeah, the game was an absolute fucking clusterfuck shit mess. I look forward to uh, an opportunity. Probably not this WrestleMania. <sighs> Maybe the WrestleMania next year. We might be able to have a, a WrestleMania party on in my ends. And then we can investigate all of my cool shit. Including, actually, that bit, I didn't really focus on that. You can see the... Uh, now that it fades to blue, you can't because it sort of makes it black. That corner, though, that's all the, the soundproof. And that's where the booth is. The booth. For the, the rap ting. There it goes. It comes back. The red and blacks. It's delightful. It's delightful. That's where we're going to be rapping from in the future. Bevies and bros. Bevies and bros. First put... First call... Uh, the, 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 the. What am I trying to say? First call of order? First first something of order. Sorry, I've just sent my fucking stream deck asunder. Anyway, we need to go to the Peter's Gate tap. That's the plan, isn't it? Port of call! That's the fucking one! That's my guy! First port of call. Uh, the Peter's Gate tap for the... We've done some Twitch things. Let's drink some beers at Krusty's Bar. Meet, meet and greet. It's going to be sick. Right, okay. I've procrastinated long enough. Honestly, I just really wanted to break from this fucking bullshit, but... Interesting. Can I... Can I... There it is. There it is. <sighs> Christ. Okay, so... We've learned nothing. We've, we've definitely done everything with everyone here, right? I think. I think. All this shit is useless. Do we do we jump to the really very... Yeah, right. Confirmed. We've done everything there. Fucking get off to the next screen. We go behind the table. We listen in there. If you want to know my yes! theory about it. I think it was stolen by any Five. Secret. No offense to your people, Mr. Najir, but I think there is a secret sect of Egyptian sun worshippers who have sent an envoy here to steal the dagger. Countess, I hardly think that's likely. Secret sects like you're describing haven't existed in hundreds of years. Oh, really?
Really? And what makes you such an authority on secret sex, Mr. Nagia? Bit of secret sex. Never a good thing. Madam, I'm certainly not an expert on the subject. Quite so. I think my theory is as good as anyone's, darling. And I heard it from a reliable source. Oh? Who was that? Let's, let, let's actually pay Never attention. Mind. Let's just say my source has never been wrong before. Hmm. There's always a first time for everything. I mean, honestly, I really needed I something to go on there. Very far fetched. Since you seem to be listening, Miss Bow, what do you think of my theory? Me? What? what? Oh, I no. definitely uh, think uh, it's worth considering, Countess. There, you see, Mr. Nagia. She's put a lisp on. Takes me seriously. Hmm. Of course, this is not is a good game for huh. well, so I many never. reasons. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I've, I've got no uh, no beef I'm with sorry. link dropping in my uh, chat. Go for your life. Things have changed. So that's the deal. There's another one. I'd rather not talk about it right now. Yeah, no kidding. The walls got ears around here. And so does certain nosy reporters, if you know what I mean. Yes. Now, if you'll excuse me, I think we must speak to Dr. Carrington. Sure thing, toots. My face. What's this? What have you sent me? <laughs> Amazing. Man's got the Duke Nukem bust. He's got it. I always wanted it. I always wanted it. But the, you know what? man he's got it. He's got it. It's the true thing. I've seen it with my very own eyes. <laughs> well done, bruh. Well done. Oh, meanwhile, in this fuckery. Can we listen to anything over here? Right. No overhearing to be done here. I, I've left. I didn't mean to leave. That was a mistake. Six. Six of... Wait, what? Hel hello? Well. This is progression! Oh. Mr. Dorian? This is Steve! That's right. We met at the docks. Oh dear. Your shoes. They aren't exactly... I need to question oh. Steve. Doesn't say what to question him about. Well, I can explain that. But not right now. I see. Well, mm, you got the disc. You got the here? disc, but not the box. You. Oh, me. Oh yeah, the the Duke definitely helped. <laughs> well, I thought we should talk. Oh, about what? Um, could we step outside for a minute? The moonlight is very nice tonight. Well. All right. I think I'd enjoy that. Flat flood upstairs. Oh, no! I'm all about keeping my boxes. Like, the top shelf around the top of my ear is all just empty boxes of all the cool shit. <laughs> well, technically, some of it still contains some of the cool I shit. wanted to explain to you... Who this is a dock really worker, right? And he's rolled in You're in the tops. Steve Dorian? Uh, well, yes, I am Steve Dorian, but I felt like I didn't He's also the love interest by the looks of it. of myself when I met you earlier today. But gee, Willikers, I'm just Wounded. not used to exactly. meeting attractive young ladies on the docks. I wasn't down there looking for a man. I'm a professional journalist working on a story. Oh, well, yes, of course you are. I didn't mean to imply anything. In fact, I was very impressed with your professionalism and with your smile. No, no, no there it is. I just didn't want you to think I'm a common stevedore. A well, what? I'll admit I was wondering what a stevedore was doing at this ritzy museum fundraiser. Speaking of fundraisers, 24-hour stream coming on Wednesday. Bills, but I'm aiming for a career as an artist. However, I'm really here because I'd hate myself for the rest of my life if I didn't try to see you again. 
Well, maybe I, I assume I still have the game. Different. I genuinely can't remember if I've sold it or not. Well, I'll check in a minute. I'm very flattered. Are you always this nervous? I'm not very good. I do women. have to do a BRB well, piss break working, as soon as this conversation is concluded. My father died. I've never had a chance to date very much. Lately, I've spent my free time going to school. Oh, of course you have. I'm starting to think we're more alike than I first thought. My mother died when I was very young. I was 19, so I was but close enough. Father. What kind of an artist are you? I'm a fucking hip-hop legend, motherfucking you bitch, con! Hell, or painter. Interesting. But I think that an artist would I know, right? Enough Gotta get them cheeky plugs in, bro. With his tuxedo at a formal party. Tell you what, the amount of people that come oh, through and they don't pay attention. I? I was hoping nobody would notice. I've been posting pretty much daily. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Left over to rent the I did a little message to one of my group chats on uh, Facebook. They've not seen any of the you links. How? Your money Unbelievable. To see me? My gotta keep, gotta keep pushing. I don't know what to say. Say you'll have dinner with me some evening. I, I may seem a little I, I really odd, can't get over the bass in this dude's homeless. voice. I really can't. I'd be honored to spend an evening with you and show you the sights around town. Well, I don't usually, but you've gone to a lot of trouble to find me. A lot of trouble. I He's think I can trust just walks you. into a museum. I guess he got really? a tux. You'll do it? Oh, thank you. You won't regret it. I'll make it a, a memorable evening. Forty I'll quid. For you. I'll dance for you. I'll, That's I'll pretty reasonable. You anything you want. Well, you know what, we joke about the uh, the Duke Nukem away. fucking Let's balls of steel thing. Uh, well, the, the bust and that, course. but I, right. I bought I Aliens Colonial Marines right. Special Edition Maybe just a in uh, but that's one of okay. our, our local game stores okay. fairly I'll recently. Breath and calm down. Well, you know, as recent as I'll it gets in COVID I'll times, because honestly, who knows what time of the I day it is, let alone what fucking week, month, yeah. I like you already. I bought that. It was like 20 quid. Statue and shit. 20 quid. Let's Bargain. Let's go back to the party, Steve. I've got work to do. Okay, so whatever exchange occurred there, uh, occurred. Again, I'm using the walkthrough. Because this game baffles my mind. So I don't really care if I miss dialogue. I just care about progression, and since progression doesn't really seem to be a thing here, I'm just stepping all over those those guys' toes. That's fine. Fuck me dead. Fuck me reet dead. Let's have a save. Um, six Eves and a Steve. That's a good save. We should go to that that save screen again because it actually cuts out the sound so I can do this BRB
and we back we back up in this bitch did a quick uh, did a quick twitter while I was gone I said yes we back I saw uh, I saw you did a tweet so I had to retweet that and show a little bit of love and also I spotted your picture so I was kind of like <laughs> I love the fact and you would have got the fucking mad neon one as well whereas me black like my fucking soul <laughs> Sneak buddies. Cheers. Can't wait to uh, ingest all. You know what? For something that's sugar free, fuck me, that stuff is sweet, isn't it? Good God. It's just, it's just that button though. Fucking hell, it's, it's something else. Something fucking else. Okay, let's, uh, let's. The food and champagne look good. Shut up, woman. Uh, let's let's just go and have a wander about. Hopefully, please please let us have triggered enough things to just overhear stuff at this point. No, no. Just got walking in circles. Bitch is crazy. You get why 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 do you need another shaker? What are you going to be fucking <laughs> like that? Is that safe? Can we say such things? The, the, fucking look at that guy's fucking hips! Oh, well, Bit suspect, isn't it? The hoity -toity team these days. Seven? We're halfway. Recognize you with your claws on. Akimbo, yeah. motherfucker! <laughs> really? I, it's, it's so sweet! Ziggy's my moniker. Plus it, it recommends like 300 to 400 mil. The thing oh, goes up to what? Fucking seven hundred. Perhaps you have confused me with someone else. I went up to five hundred for my second You're one. I was like, still too sweet. Me. I think we're gonna have to actually I max it out for a sachet. I am sure I am not knowing what you mean, Monsieur Ziggy. Oh, I get it. Use is worried one of these high hats is gonna hear us, right? Oh, okay. I'm clued in. We can talk later. Yeah, well, that's that's my point, man. I did like five, five, five fifty on one of my other ones, and it was just ah. Oh, even then, <laughs> got to got to pint it up. Got to pint it up at least. Are you enjoying the culinary delights this evening, Miss Delacroix? This food, it is adequate. Eight. Do not eat so much. This way, I maintain my figure, no? My figure, no? Ah, yes, uh, and a lovely figure it is, Miss Delacroix. Merci, Dr. Carrington. You are so kind. I feel we've known each other long enough. Please call me Archibald. <laughs> Please do. As you wish, Archibald. Archibald. I'm yours to command, as always. Oh, le sweet. Miss Bow, is this the something oui, oui. I can do for you? Le put it in oh, my no. poopy shooty. I was just admiring Miss Delacroix's dress. Merci, Miss Bow. It is a bit, and isn't it? Gown, it is... A bit out of date, but charming nonetheless. Thank you, I think. Well, if you ladies will excuse me, I must mingle with the guests. Well, well, look what the leprechaun's dragged in. Love it. Hey, now watch what you just calls me, alrighty? I don't know what that leprechaun thing is, but I don't like the sound of it. Oh no, si, senor. What the fuck is this game? Only by low class type poisons, O'Reilly. By the way, ain't you afraid of being seen with me? Cops talk to stoolies all the time, and I was wondering what you're doing here. I'm a big patron of the arts. That's the kind of high class. The fuck guy he I does, am. doesn't he? You don't even Maybe know it what is. the word patron means. It's the nineties. I does too. Okay, what does patron mean? Um, hey, ain't that the countess I see over there? I need to talk to her. Ah, oh, I've run out of uh, uh, eavesdropping options over here. Please don't make me talk to people again. Just give me eavesdropping here. That'd be mint. No? Please don't make me talk to people again. Please. I wasn't paying attention to anything. I don't want this. I don't want this. No. Oh, for fuck's sake. 
Right. Is there anything new? Because it's got to go with things that are new, right? Except no. No, it doesn't. Because this game, you might have learned something else. Which means, start again. You already asked me about that, you silly female. Let's, let's have him. You already asked me that, you silly female. That's the thing that was said. He said that. <laughs> you get that as a text tone. Fucking Jesus Christ. You already are. <laughs> Fucking bigot. You already are. What a hell, mate. You silly female. Ben by you silly female. <laughs> oh, God, what am I doing? If you're referring to the local drinking as... Okay, well, we didn't have that before. Let's get a save in. Um, how many we're up to? We're up to nine. There we go. That's, that's the save. Right. No, no! <laughs> God, this fucking interface is so shit. Since you're new here... What do you think of New York? I think Isn't that means progression. I hate it. It's cra I don't care what you think. Why have I got a fucking magnifying glass? That's not what I want. With a little word, Doctor. Right, okay, this this man's saying things about this shit. That's why I. He already said all this shit though. I know I asked him about this. You already. See, you already asked me about that. You silly female. This this must mean new information though. The police station is the See Fresh knowledge. It's one of Now wait a minute. The wait, no. You've just proven my Well I Maybe that I don't your Whatever the fuck that conversation was, bruh. Just put it directly into the bin. But we have already Yeah, I bet we fucking have often we But we have Look, I don't know what I'm doing, okay? But we... This chick. Let's just go rogue. Mr. Najir is a very... I think... Cool, right. So, I'm, I must have got tired at some point. <laughs> but we have our... Oh, but at what point? This point? An odd little fellow... Okay, keep going, keep going, keep pushing, keep pushing. She ain't gonna know your dad. What about Lofa? Oh yes, he runs the land. Oh yeah, bro, I totally got this. This, this is, this is life. I, I don't know. Ah, the. Yeah, the young Stevedore. That's that's the fella. That's the very same. I don't. Know. <sighs> Fuck me, dad. No, not no. I want to do the second page. Over here, Ramses. But we have. We've already spoken about that one somehow. Ah. Wolf. Ah. Uh, fucking solid on gladiators. That like a new... Very scary. How do you like living in? Well. Oh, I went to a different place. Moo bad. Ah, oh, possible. Then it. Was that a conversation? Who knows? Who even cares? The tribute. Oh, stick. Good, right? That's that's things that have been said. Oh. A back and forth. I love it. I really hope there are no other sections I'm in this sure. game like this. I really, really hope, because this is just the absolute I'm... worst. Yes, I. I feel we did New York, but I just want to check. But we have our yeah, we did. Does that mean we did the uh, museum as well? I don't know. But we have. We did! Right, excellent. Moving on to miscellaneous things. How's your 1926 going? So, Dr. Miklos. Easy money. You? Fucking John Connor in this say, shit. Yes, very good. I came here from Greece. I came here from Greece and then other things happened and blah, 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 blah. Shut up. But we have... 
I know we have. That's what I asked everyone about. But who knows what might change? You're in well, yes. Cool. Can we overhear some shit now? No. Excellent. Let's talk to this lady. From the top, kids. I bore rather. I bore. I feel like we did pretty much everything with this chick. I bore. Yeah. This this looks good. This looks really good, actually. I bore rather. Yeah, we did everything with that old bitch. I know, right? Deja vu. It's just my. I'm afraid I haven't. Oh, you see, now she's opened her mouth. Well. Oh heavens, my dear! My laundry is done by my maid. Cause it is. Why wouldn't it be? Wish I had fucking maids. Mind you, washing's not even difficult. Here, it's the putting it away that's the problem. Hmm? Putting the washing on is a piece of this. Don't ask yourself fucking anything, you goddamn fucking pain in the ass. I bore rather. I bore. Oh god, damn! Can we put her in the bin? I bore. You ask your. Don't ask. Do you know much about Egypt? Only a little. Do there we go. That was that was a conversation piece. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I knew that would happen there, but. Countess has no. No, I'm. T well, I'm Asked. Moving on. Checking, 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 checking. Moving on. Oh, fuck me, Dad. Oh, would you please move on? Move, move. See what I'm dealing with. See what I'm dealing with. A little bit higher. There she goes. Not a problem. Right. We have asked this girl fucking everything, right? Fucking everything. You already yeah. See? Bomb of the list. You already. Yeah, perfect. I have heard a great See, but this dude's chasing his fucking I found it. Mm-hmm. I'm afraid I do not know. I'm afraid that I'm about to fucking take my computer and do launch it into space. Because this game. Crab followers? It's like I've not spoken to him about any of these people at any point. I'm afraid. He's not saying, oh, sorry, we've spoken about this before. He's, it's like I've never spoken to him about this shit before. You ask your don't ask yourself. Please don't ask yourself. Because that'll make me want to stab myself in the fucking I eyes. No. Is this guy just simple or what? Mr. Dorian is a very... Oh, God, can we just get some back and forth going? Please. We... There is no back and forth. Out of here. Night, <laughs> night guys. See you Wednesday, GB. Do the rest of the game. Yeah, man. I'm going to fucking just enjoy the fuck out of this. I promise you. Chances are, I thought I might end up streaming tonight. I didn't want to, but I thought I might end up. And I'm glad I did, because here everyone else is, or was, because wife cows on doing lives on TikTok. Now, I really don't want to do one tomorrow because obviously I've got a big day on Wednesday. But she's going to go live on TikTok and I'm going to end up back here talking to these same motherfuckers. But Ageless, thank you so much for coming through, my brother. And especially thanks for sending that fucking picture of the Duke. Outrageous. I've completely forgotten where I was up to. God damn it. We have already discussed. Oh no. No. We have already... No. Oh no, 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 we're good. We're good. No, thanks for coming through. I didn't realise I was talking to her. 
Hold up one sec. Let me just do this one more time. Vet. Great. More things that are completely fucking useless. Let me just do this thing real quick, which is the old socials trick. Boom. Find us on all of these platforms. To be kept up to date and also listen to some fucking tidy music. Big oof. Big oof, pal. You know we got to drop the old socials every now and then. My fucking... My commands are so ridiculous. It's a shame I don't have any moderators in the room whatsoever because they would gladly take you on a tour of the stupid shit I've got going on. Anyway... Oh, this arsehole. No, nothing, nothing, surely. Are you an Egyptologist, Mr. Najia? No, not... I mean, honestly... Since you're an expert... The study our model... Aren't you? I would not... What? I grew... Lots of conversation to be had between these two fools. Mr. Well, you can go well. Oh, the name. I don't care. I don't care. I don't give a flying fuck. We have all. We've already discussed this fuckery. Would you say this has been a no? As but that all my pipe. I sure I would have lapped this up in 1992. About when I was seven. You already. Yeah, I know I did. But I wanted to ask you again because I wanted to be sure. We just did this one, didn't we? Yeah. My English is. You already. I'm walking away. Please let this be a conversation I can overhear. No. Great. More chit chat it is. Do you know anything? <laughs> right, so we've done that one, but 1986 is a fresh. The burglary is not fresh. So let's go to the speakeasy once again. I'm a busy man. He's a very busy man, don't you know? <sighs> Fuck. I'm a busy man. We really need to start listening to what these motherfuckers are saying. I'm like in the overhearing shit, like try and link people to people. So we don't end up doing this. I'm a busy it is better to know. You know what? Let's talk to someone else. I'm really very busy, Miss. I'm really. It's killing me off. I really. I really. What do I need to trigger? Trouble is, you've you've never got any idea. I'm really very. Question. Maybe I've already triggered it and I just need to go to the other side of the room. Eventually. Nope. Let's get a save in here, shall we? Where are we? Nine? Bad time will be or do one. It was nine. Oh, fucking A right. Finish my beverage and I'll be fucking right up. You've not long opened it. Ah <laughs> oh, no, within half an hour. This game makes me want to stab myself in the fucking eyeballs! Essentially. Did you hear that? Christ.
Christ! That was my stomach! Let's talk to this motherfucker. Oh yeah, man, this is the best fun I've ever had. How many times are you gonna ask me? Uh... This wasn't even my first choice of game I was going to play tonight. I was actually Can't tempted to play um, Road Rash Jailbreak for the PlayStation 1. And then just part of my brain went, well, you discovered this game earlier today while watching a bunch of YouTube things. You saw it and you thought, that looks cool because a bunch of people get murdered consistently. We've not seen anyone get murdered yet. Very annoyed. Road Rash was uh, a game request that I had, and you know what, the dude that requested it hasn't even come through, so. <sighs> Unbelievable. That's one of my fucking mods as well. Unbelievable. What am I doing? That Smith? That's gotta be an We just gotta keep talking to this motherfucker. This, this, this guy. Can't help you. You ask? This is the guy that is gonna get us the next progression, I feel. How many times are you gonna ask me? Oh, there will always be more streams, Ben. There will always be more streams, as well you know. How many times? Oh, this guy is a twat, isn't he? How many times? Shut up, stomach. How many? He was talking to her. What makes you think I knows anything about a dame like her? She's she won't even have anything to. That's odd. See, she seems to I remembered people. something and it makes sense. She did. What did she say? It ain't true. Listen, that old cow. I do need to be making notes. I do need to be writing you know. shit down. I ain't taking the rap for her anyway. Shh. Somebody. Just shut the fuck up and let's find some more things for you to be uncomfortable about. No. No. Yes. Yeah, the dark room. Right, you see, that's that's fresh shit. Quiet. Okay, okay, okay. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Bra. Hmm. Cool, cool, cool. No. Yes. Nice working girl. Sexy bitch. That's what we're taking from that. How many times? Fuck you! Uh, Laplace. How many? <laughs> How many times? Right, so places don't change. I don't think places change at least. But what you can say about people might change? How many? Yeah. Yeah, I, okay. I think I'm getting it. I think I'm getting it. Let's just confirm. How many? I'm going to go through the miscellaneous thing to confirm this. How many times? I'm With confirming it with an idiot though, so who knows? I think, I think we're good to move on. Can we overhear something, please? Please. Please let me overhear. One thing I'm admiring about the Egyptian man is the way he is treating his woman with the strong hand and the firm words. Words? Well, that is the proper way, as our culture teaches us. Which is not to say our culture is primitive by any means. See, the trouble is, I don't know who these fuckers are. So our methods are quite well thought out and practical. Mmm, and the Egyptian man, he is very skilled in the private matters as well, no? Well, uh, speaking for myself, I feel it is my sacred duty to be knowledgeable in all matters that concern me. I've certainly had no complaints about my skills, Mr. Delacroix. We're just talking about fucking now, oh, aren't we? Bo, I didn't see you standing there. Uh -huh. Well, I hear another turkey leg calling my name at the buffet table. So if you'll excuse me. The turkey leg, it sounds good to me also. I'll accompany you, Dr. Smith. Er and im. I. Aye. 
So let's try to ask him about her. You already asked. God damn it, you cunt! Just when I think I'm working the fucking game out. Four to go. Four to go. Countess, they tell me you are married to the last museum president, no? Yes, darling, that's correct. Sterling Waldorf Carlton was such a charming man. Charming? So wealthy. My heart is just an empty void without him. Yes. Bedtime so for you, Austin to see you. catch you on Wednesday for the charity stream, my bad. boy. Love it. Now. Much love, Ben Pye. I will see I you on Wednesday. At some point, hopefully, for an entire 24 hours. Spirit. Get your coffee. Get your sneak. Oh, I'm sure sneak up, boy. He's crawling with maggots by now. But if his spirit is with you, let me know. Because no, I for real, though. Thank you see. very much for coming through. Thank you very much for raiding in the process of coming through. Always appreciated so much, especially from like a long-term yes. streamer like you. I had only two short, but your viewers married life with Sterling are exceptional before he died. And when you bring them to me and how long they are saddened but I appreciate you bringing them anyway oh we met just one charming month before we decided to get married much it love Ben love much love always where did you meet him oh I had only been in this country a few weeks when I met Sterling is on it an daft is it fucked ship. it's quite legal to drink and gamble there you know and all the right people attend. Sterling was so charming. I know how raids work. It's all good. Much love, brother. What's my love? Blah, 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 blah. Must have had Much love. Enjoy your good room. sleep. It's just a matter of I'll see you on Wednesday, my dude. Sterling was a wealthy man. You must have inherited a nice fortune, Countess. The money doesn't matter, darling. Actually... There's an annoying problem with the estate right now. It seems Sterling was changing his will when he died to give me more money, perhaps. Anyway, I'm sure my attorney will take care of the problem. <laughs> In a bit, Ben. Much love, much love. His new will. Yes, quite. <laughs> okay, cool. The archaeology, it is such a masculine profession. Breaking into the ancient tombs with your sledgehammer, thrusting your way into the treasure chambers, touching the gold artifacts. It is also stimulating, no? Yes. Well, when you put it that way, I guess it is rather stimulating, being the most important archaeologist of all time. And it is such a burden to bear this greatness, no? With such pressure to perform, you must be perfect all the time. Yes, you have a unique understanding of my problems, Yvette. Mm. Are your problems they are obvious, no? No. Very kind of you to say that, but there are many who misinterpret my actions. They don't understand the pressure of having famous relatives in the same line of work and having to compare oneself to them all the time. Ah, oh, but it's just uncommon. Just, to, just so we're clear, right? To your we're nearly at four hours in the stream, right? Correct. And I saw a video on YouTube of someone completing this so game in a little over four hours. We're nowhere I know near many that. Things, Dr. Carter. This is going to be so quite, quite the thing to come back to. Maybe we should discuss archaeology. Probably tomorrow when she goes live again. I'd love to hear about the work you do, Doctor Carter. Perhaps later tonight. Hello. Uh, Will you be working late tonight? Oh yes. I think everyone will be here tonight. No, there is much to be done to prepare. Is she actually a hooker? What the fuck is this? I was planning a break for tea around 3 a.m. if you'd like to join me. It's tea at 3 a.m.? Perhaps you would uh, come by my office then? Your office? At 3 a.m.? Who wrote this? Who fucking wrote this? Where is this going? Nonsense. Think nothing of it. How will I ever repay you for this courtesy? I know how busy you are, Dr. Carter. Hmm, I'm sure we'll think of something. And call me Pippin. God, yes, Pippin! Why not? P 
Baby boy, there's another bothering me, one to go. Driver. Dr. Carter, I will stop bothering you when the dagger is safely back in Cairo. Right, I'm not going fucking anywhere until we get out of Act 2, because I think we're right there. The dagger has been stolen from the bloody museum, you great twit. I see no reason bloody this and bloody that, you motherfucking stupid bloody immigrant. I am also aware that no evidence was left behind. Don't you know my best friend is fucking fact, Prince Philip? I think you removed the dagger. Don't like you brown people, that's why we've recolored you as white in the video game. Good lord. What bloody reason would I have to steal my own bloody dagger from my own bloody exhibit? Bloody hell. The dagger is not yours, Doctor. It belongs to the Egyptian people. As to why you stole it, I do not pretend to understand your twisted American thinking. Perhaps you wanted to keep the dagger for yourself, in your own private collection. Perhaps I should ask why you're shifting the blame onto me, you insignificant peasant. Why is this game so racist? It would be very clever of you to steal the dagger, then stay about I guess, what was it, set in 1926? else stealing it. I mean, it doesn't doesn't give it an okay to say all this shit in night two. Now I'm sure that you stole it for yourself. Fucking outrageous. Did not. Yes, you did. Did not. Did. Did not. And this is where we are. Did. Gentlemen, please. Who asked you? Mind your own business, you nosy reporter. But I... Uh, I have more important things to do. Our discussion is far from over, Dr. Carter. That's what you think, you malodorous buffoon. Malodorous. Is that word again? Fantastic. Please, please don't make me talk to people. Just let me go somewhere else and get the last one. You are interested in the great art, no? Then you should come with me this 14. evening. Fourteen. I'll give you the personal tour of the old master's gallery. Well, I Give me my fucking walkthrough, bruh. That you will not be wasting your time. Which you I've now lost. Very much. Is that... No, well, no, it, it, it's gone. You are studying the art at the university, no? Well, yes, but... Well, shit. Then it is settled. I will give you the private tour in a little while, no? But I... No, no, I think we're good. There is no need to thank me yet. I will be enjoying it as much as you will. Uh... Are we good? Are we good? <laughs> I think we're good. I need to meet Steve again. Maybe I did. <gasps> yes. No, this is good. This is good. Wait. Let's just blow that up so things are paused. I was right at the back of the main room to enter the other part of the museum. Head right and up. Take the bone from the table. Right. There isn't, there isn't a right, unless it's around the back of this. There is no up. There is. There is a bone on the table. Okay. You pick it up and place it in your purse. Nice. Okay. Let's, uh, again, go into the purse area just so we can save some shit. Okay. Go out of this room, then go left to the armor gallery. What do you mean, go out of this room? If there are options, maybe it's the just room that. Feels just walk. Go right. Well, that looks like out. Maybe it isn't. See? This is fuckery. This is straight fuckery. Because it said left. It said left, not right. That's my bad. Let's go left. 
left to the armor uh, armor gallery and up along the corridor to find the Egyptian exhibit. Cool. Let's do a cheeky save, shall we? I think I spelled Egyptian wrong. I'm always confident I did. In fact, I know I did. Didn't I? I can't even... I can't... Yeah, I, I did. Because I put an O. And it should be an A. But exhibit was spelt perfectly. X to the motherfucking Z. Had to save my game motherfucking appropriately. Okay. This is Egyptian music, I guess. Shh stomach okay look at the dagger case and touch it and it will break which I guess is gonna get me in trouble it looks remarkably like a glass case in the shape of a pyramid a small card informs you that this case contained the famous dagger of Amon Ra which is now missing well if it's missing then it's not gonna get me in trouble is it Congratulations, you've cracked the case of the Dagger of Amon-Ra. Fucking unbelievable, Japes. Uh, I really need to fucking keep up with where I'm at. Continue left and look at the Rosetta Stone. You can't take... That, probably that thing just lying on the ground. Ironically, there's a gold unk medallion, the ancient Egyptian symbol. No? Is it not that? Maybe it was. Rosetta Stone on the wall. Is it this? This placard describes the full translated yes. text on the Rosetta Stone. Do it with your magnifying glass, however. To maintain a sense of realism, the watermark says that this Rosetta Stone text was printed on papyrus the equivalent of the paper of ancient We're going to put this in our notebook, apparently. apparently. it was cheaper than printing the translation on a piece of black basalt. Right, we've got to look at the ank, which is that, on the deck. We've got to look at it with our magnifying glass. A close look reveals the initials P.S. inscribed in the back of the bloody ank. Bloody ank. Now we get to take you it. pick it up and place it in your purse. Also use your magnifying glass to look at the bloody footprint on the ground. My lord, there is one as well. Apparently the shoe's owner stepped in some of the blood. It apparently belongs to a dainty foot. Dainty foot sees. Open the right sarcophagus to s Oh, okay. Things are about to occur. At last, a corpse! We found one! We've only been playing for fucking four hours. Uh, then what happens? I guess it just drips with blood until I click off. Examine his face. There are no signs of scratches or bruises on his flesh. This could mean that the murderer, assuming this wasn't a suicide, doesn't look like one. Dr. Carter well enough to get close and stab him without arousing any suspicion. Or it could just mean that Dr. Carter was completely taken by surprise when someone assaulted him from the shadows. Yeah, probably that one. Uh, search here, wait, examine his face and the dagger, which makes sense. A close look at the dagger reveals the words, Made in Pittsburgh, stamped on the part of the blade that is not buried in Pippin Carter's chest. To your naked eye, the rough surface of the dagger handle doesn't appear to hold any fingerprints. 
But that's something for the coroner to examine in detail. Okay. We're nearly at three, which means we're nearly done, and I'm so pleased. We've got to just look at his tuxedo. The is free of blood, but there is a bluish stain on one lapel. A close look and sniff at the stain makes you think that it's grape juice. The bulge on one side is ruining the carefully tailored lines of the tuxedo. The red fluid appears to be... Regular eye? There's a slight bulge in Pippin's jacket, as if he's carrying something in an inside pocket. Right. A red fl... Pippin's shirt is immaculate. There's a slight... There's a slight... Yeah. Pippin's... Pippin's... Pa Back on the magnifying glass. Studying the location of the dagger wound and its proximity to the vest, it's safe to... The jacket is free of blood, but there is a bluish stain on one lip. The bulge on one side. Is it this the side? The jacket is the bulge. The jacket, the bulge. There's a slight... There's a slight... There's a slight... There's a... There's... Pip, pippins... Pippins... Pip... There's... There's a, there's a, a red, Pippin has a flower in, Pippin's shirt is immaculate, there's a slight, there's a, where, where's the bulge, a red fluid, this is literally all we need to end this there's shit, there's a slight, bu we poke when it, you reach in, <gasps> yes, you pick it up and place, I think that's it, I think that's all we needed to do, We're good. We're good. So, some people can complete the game in this time. We've achieved a third. This is what I get for saying, Oh, that too looks short. Piece of piss. Did you see the murderer? No. All right. I'll talk to you later after you've had a chance to calm down. Just don't try to leave the building. Fade. On the cutting edge. Excellent work. Your father would be proud of you. <laughs> Having already interrogated the guests, Detective O'Reilly is now discussing the murder with the staff members as they leave the party. It would be best if you don't interfere. Yeah, no doubt. Please hurry up, because it's just occurred to me I need to put some stuff in the tumble dryer before I retire for the eve. Who's this cheeky chappy? Hi, Miss Bull. I'm Ernie Leach. Oh. Dr. Carrington told me you could stay a while and talk to the staff. I've got to lock the door, so just come and find me when you're ready to leave. Dr. C also has a key, but you don't want to bother him about that. Thank you, Mr. Leach. Just be careful where you go. Wolf will get upset if he finds you downstairs. See you later. I guess that's just saying. Did you manage to learn anything from your interviews, Detective O'Reilly? Don't bother your little head about it, lass. It's my job, sir. This is an official murder investigation, Miss Bo. Do not be interfering. Oh, I don't mean to interfere. I just want to know what's going on. Any leads so far? Dr. Carter died as the result of someone sticking a gift shop dagger in his chest. What more do you need to know? Well, for one thing, who did it? Someone who didn't like him, that's my guess. No shit. Brilliant deduction. If you think that Yule can do better. I can try. Oh, wunderbar. Now we've got the amateurs involved. 
I may not be a detective, but I'm terribly clever. I've solved murders before. Just stay out of me way, lass, and don't destroy the evidence. Certainly not. Hmph. Yeah. Hmph. Saving. Now. What the fuck? Where? Where? Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, not a problem. Let me. Uh, let me just quietly put you in the bin. Well. This has been an experience, to say the least. My stomach is going absolutely fucking insane. It's doing me bloody crazy. It's, do, it's doing me a crazy is. Push the mic back to where it belongs when I'm not streaming. Because <sighs> I'm done. I'm done. It's been a lovely evening. Fuckery. What is this game? What is it? What is it? God damn mess is what it is. Uh, let me just do this real quick because I can't do it with the frame I've currently got. Uh, we're doing a 24 hour stream starting on Wednesday, which is only a fucking, where are we now? A, a day and eight and a half hours away from pretty much. Uh, where we're going to be doing all that shit. So long as we hit these. Uh, these monetary goals, we're going to be doing some daft shit as well, which is going to be fucking fantastic. Uh, I really want to hit the the top end because I want to, I really want to shave my head. I've been wanting to shave my head for over a week, but I've known the wax won't grip short hair. So we've got to let the hair be there for it to be waxed. So let's hit that 500 so I can get a haircut in the most painful way possible. We're just going to have a good time. Me and Krusty, we're going to have a lovely time. I'm going to do my best to speedrun this. Krusty's been uh, practicing Dishonored today. Or was it yesterday? I forget. He's uh, He's been practicing anyway. So he's going to try and uh, smash his way through No Kills Never Detected run of Dishonored. Uh, hopefully, if we're very, very, very lucky, Super Seducer 3 will finally be accepted onto Steam so we can play that. If not, it's going to be Super Seducer 1 and 2. Uh, we'll pick some campaigns out of either one or two campaigns. You know, just hook up with the bitches. Titanic, because the, the, the this our fucking support base, basically. But yeah, so we're going to play a bunch of shit. It's 24 hours. Uh, this this is the shit that's going in. Come through, come through, come through. Donate, support the cause. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Uh, I don't think there's anything else to cover. I think we're good. So, but that said, mother fucking deuces.